The networking and partnership of the English Education Department include national and global parties such as the government services, the National English Education Department Association, the partner high schools and vocational schools, Leadership Public School in Oakland, Presbyterian Church of the United States of America, Mennonite Central Committee, Church Missionary Service Australia, and the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia. The English Education Department of Tutawacana Christian University Educating Teachers Enhancing Professionalism Transformasi diri adalah panggilan bagi kaum muda Siap menjadi pribadi yang bermanfaat bagi dunia dan sesama adalah tujuan akhir. Mari memperoleh beasiswa dan mengalami transformasi diri menjadi pengajar bahasa Inggris untuk profesi tertentu, pengembang materi pembelajaran berbasis teknologi, dan pengembang program pelatihan bahasa Inggris. Menyambut era merdeka belajar, Dosen kami mengelola pembelajaran dengan mengedepankan keunggulan di bidang teknologi pembelajaran, pendekatan komunikasi antar budaya, dan pembelajaran bahasa Inggris untuk tujuan khusus. Ada lebih dari 200 ribu kosa kata dalam bahasa Inggris. Hal ini mendorong Prodi BBI untuk membekali mahasiswa dengan ESP Vocabulary in Context. Sebuah mata kuliah yang membantu mereka mempelajari kosakata di berbagai bidang ilmu seperti sains, teknologi, psikologi dan pendidikan. Lewat mata kuliah ini, mereka akan lebih siap menghadapi teks-teks akademis sehingga bisa menjadi pengguna bahasa Inggris yang lebih mahir dan percaya diri. Ini merupakan perwujudan dari salah satu nilai duta wacana yaitu melakukan yang terbaik. Public speaking itu nggak bisa dihindarin. Sudah pernah dengar kata glossophobia? Itu adalah fobia public speaking. Public speaking nggak hanya akan membantu studi dan kehidupan sosial kalian, tapi juga dapat memajukan karir. Public speaking akan membantu membangun kepercayaan diri dalam menjalin hubungan dengan orang-orang di seluruh dunia. Ketika kalian dapat berbicara, kalian dapat mempengaruhi orang. Dan ketika kalian dapat mempengaruhi orang, kalian dapat membantu mengubah dunia menjadi tempat yang lebih baik. Halo, pada kesempatan ini saya akan mengenalkan tentang English for Going Global, salah satu mata kuliah pilihan di PBI UKDW. Dalam masa globalisasi, uh, mahasiswa sebagai global citizen butuh menjalin komunikasi dengan people all over the world. Bisa Anda lihat di sini, jadi uh, mahasiswa akan menjalin komunikasi dengan mengenalkan uh, keunikan budaya dan adat masing-masing. Dengan mengimplementasikan itu, kita mencintai satu dengan yang lain dan implementasi ini adalah obedience to God, ketaatan pada Allah. Together, we can serve the world, melayani dunia sama-sama, to make it a better place to live. Dalam mata kuliah Technology Enhanced Language Instruction, siswa diperkenalkan dengan berbagai website dan aplikasi seluler yang dipergunakan untuk memfasilitasi kegiatan pembelajaran bahasa Inggris. Dengan mengikuti mata kuliah ini, mahasiswa akan mampu merancang dan mengimplementasikan instruksi pembelajaran berbasis teknologi, baik itu website dan atau aplikasi seluler untuk memfasilitasi pembelajaran yang otentik. Kegiatan pembelajaran yang dilakukan mahasiswa pada mata kuliah ini merupakan perwujudan dari nilai inti keduta wacanaan, yaitu service to the world, melayani orang lain melalui pendidikan. Menjadi mahasiswa pendidikan bahasa Inggris di Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana adalah salah satu hal yang paling membahagiakan bagi saya. 
Karena di universitas ada empat nilai inti yaitu ketaatan kepada Tuhan, berjuang untuk keunggulan, berjalan dalam integritas, dan melayani dunia. Dalam pendidikan bahasa Inggris, saya dapat mengembangkan 4C, yaitu Collaboration, Creativity, Communication, dan Critical Thinking. Selama berkuliah di pendidikan bahasa Inggris Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana, saya mendapatkan ilmu yang mungkin tidak bisa saya dapatkan di tempat lain. Dalam berkuliah di pendidikan bahasa Inggris, saya sangat bersyukur karena bisa menggunakan pembelajaran berbasis teknologi sebagai media pembelajaran yang bermanfaat dalam meningkatkan kemampuan akademik saya. Selama berkuliah di program studi pendidikan bahasa Inggris, saya melatih diri untuk lebih peka dan kritis dengan keadaan sekitar karena seorang mahasiswa adalah pencari ilmu yang suatu saat akan mengimplementasikan ilmu yang didapat ke dalam lingkungan masyarakat. Menjadi bagian dari Prodi Pendidikan Bahasa Inggris di Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana adalah suatu hal terbaik yang bisa saya dapatkan. Culture dari Prodi PBI ini mampu membantu saya untuk mengembangkan kemampuan saya untuk berkomunikasi dan berkolaborasi baik dengan teman, dosen, dan banyak pihak lain. Selain itu, saya juga dapat berlatih dan meningkatkan kreativitas dan pola pikir yang kritis untuk mendukung studi saya. Semua kegiatan pembelajaran disusun sedemikian rupa sehingga membantu saya untuk belajar dengan lebih baik. Menjadi bagian dari prodi ini juga memperluas peluang saya untuk mendapatkan pengalaman-pengalaman yang berharga bahkan membuka peluang bagi saya untuk mendapatkan pengalaman mengajar lebih awal. Dengan pengalaman-pengalaman ini, saya dapat lebih belajar dan membangun kepercayaan diri saya untuk mempersiapkan karir saya di masa yang akan datang. Hal ini juga membantu saya untuk belajar memberikan yang terbaik dan untuk melayani sesama. Dengan mengedepankan pengembangan soft skills, kami percaya mahasiswa kami siap melayani dengan kasih masyarakat Indonesia yang plural. Bahkan mereka bisa mendunia. This is Dutawacana Christian University. As the name suggests, Dutawacana means an ambassador of God's Word. The university is called to serve the world by delivering academicians, teachers, or practitioners of English education with professionalism, global perspectives, and characters of true educators. The English Education Department was founded to answer that call. Having a global perspective and a local act. In this 21st century, English has become increasingly crucial for communication and competition. Due to the implementation of the Asian Economic Community in 2015, Indonesia has to respond to the demand for global competitive human resources. Therefore, a graduate of the English Education Department is expected and prepared to be a successful agent in this global competitive era. Accentuating Professionalism
optimizing technology in future career. The embryo of the English Education Department of Tutawatana was the implementation of the present university-scaled Introduction to College English, a non-credited matriculation program for theology students and other credited in faculty English programs since 1999 by the English Language Training Center. Just like the students of the other departments of Tutawatana, the students of the English Education Department come from different regions in Indonesia. They all live in pluralism, harmony, and unity. I'm from North Sulawesi, Manado. I am from North Sumatra. I come from West Java. I'm from Via Papua. Kupang is Nusa Tenggara. Tom Tom Laki, Molukas. From Muntilan, from not Borneo, Kalimatawai. They are also given soft skills education by the university and empowering mentoring from their lecturers. Enlightening and fun activities enrich the students' lives. Another distinctive characteristic of the faculty is their experience in teaching English for specific purposes such as English for theology, English for medical students, and English for information technology. The faculty members of the English Education Department are graduates of reputable universities in Indonesia and abroad. They are competent in teaching with blended learning system, which combines various teaching methodologies with the applications of modern learning teaching technology. The networking and partnership of the English Education Department include national and global parties such as the Government Services, the National English Education Department Association, the Partner High Schools and Vocational Schools, Leadership Public School in Oakland, Presbyterian Church of the United States of America, Mennonite Central Committee, Church Missionary Service Australia, and the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia. The English Education Department of Tutawatsana Christian University Educating Teachers Enhancing Professionalism Transformasi diri adalah panggilan bagi kaum muda. 
siap menjadi pribadi yang bermanfaat bagi dunia dan sesama adalah tujuan akhir. Mari memperoleh beasiswa dan mengalami transformasi diri menjadi pengajar bahasa Inggris untuk profesi tertentu, pengembang materi pembelajaran berbasis teknologi, dan pengembang program pelatihan bahasa Inggris. Menyambut era merdeka belajar, dosen kami mengelola pembelajaran dengan mengedepankan keunggulan di bidang teknologi pembelajaran, pendekatan komunikasi antar budaya, dan pembelajaran bahasa Inggris untuk tujuan khusus. Ada lebih dari 200 ribu kosa kata dalam bahasa Inggris. Hal ini mendorong Prodi BBI untuk membekali mahasiswa dengan ESP Vocabulary in Context, sebuah mata kuliah yang membantu mereka mempelajari kosakata di berbagai bidang ilmu, seperti sains, teknologi, psikologi, dan pendidikan. Lewat mata kuliah ini, mereka akan lebih siap menghadapi teks-teks akademis, sehingga bisa menjadi pengguna bahasa Inggris yang lebih mahir dan percaya diri. Ini merupakan perwujudan dari salah satu nilai duta wacana, yaitu melakukan yang terbaik. Public speaking itu nggak bisa dihindari. Sudah pernah dengar kata glossophobia? Itu adalah fobia public speaking. Public speaking nggak hanya akan membantu studi dan kehidupan sosial kalian, tapi juga dapat memajukan karir. Public speaking akan membantu membangun kepercayaan diri dalam menjalin hubungan dengan orang-orang di seluruh dunia. Ketika kalian dapat berbicara, kalian dapat mempengaruhi orang. Dan ketika kalian dapat mempengaruhi orang, kalian dapat membantu mengubah dunia menjadi tempat yang lebih baik. Halo, pada kesempatan ini saya akan mengenalkan tentang English for Going Global, salah satu mata kuliah pilihan di PBI UKDW. Dalam masa globalisasi, uh, mahasiswa sebagai global citizen butuh menjalin komunikasi dengan people all over the world. Bisa Anda lihat di sini, jadi uh, mahasiswa akan menjalin komunikasi dengan mengenalkan uh, keunikan budaya dan adat masing-masing. Dengan mengimplementasikan itu, kita mencintai satu dengan yang lain dan implementasi ini adalah obedience to God, ketaatan pada Allah. Together, we can serve the world, melayani dunia sama-sama, to make it a better place to live. Dalam mata kuliah Technology Enhanced Language Instruction, siswa diperkenalkan dengan berbagai website dan aplikasi seluler yang dipergunakan untuk memfasilitasi kegiatan pembelajaran bahasa Inggris. Dengan mengikuti mata kuliah ini, mahasiswa akan mampu merancang dan mengimplementasikan instruksi pembelajaran berbasis teknologi, baik itu website dan atau aplikasi seluler untuk memfasilitasi pembelajaran yang otentik. Kegiatan pembelajaran yang dilakukan mahasiswa pada mata kuliah ini merupakan perwujudan dari nilai inti keduta wacanaan yaitu service to the world, melayani orang lain melalui pendidikan. Menjadi mahasiswa pendidikan bahasa Inggris di Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana adalah salah satu hal yang paling membahagiakan bagi saya. Karena di universitas ada empat nilai inti yaitu ketaatan kepada Tuhan, berjuang untuk keunggulan, berjalan dalam integritas, dan melayani dunia. Dalam pendidikan bahasa Inggris, saya dapat mengembangkan 4C, yaitu Collaboration, Creativity, Communication, dan Critical Thinking. Selama berkuliah di pendidikan bahasa Inggris, Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana, Saya mendapatkan ilmu yang mungkin tidak bisa saya dapatkan di tempat lain. Dalam berkuliah di pendidikan bahasa Inggris, saya sangat bersyukur karena bisa menggunakan pembelajaran berbasis teknologi sebagai media pembelajaran yang bermanfaat dalam meningkatkan kemampuan akademik saya. Selama berkuliah di program studi pendidikan bahasa Inggris, Saya melatih diri untuk lebih peka dan kritis dengan keadaan sekitar karena
This is Dudawacana Christian University. As the name suggests, Dudawacana means an ambassador of God's word. The university is called to serve the world by delivering academicians, teachers, or practitioners of English education with professionalism, global perspectives, and characters of true educators. The English Education Department was founded to answer that call. Having a global perspective and a local act. In this 21st century, English has become increasingly crucial for communication and competition. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Sejahtera, Rahayu, Salam Kebajikan. Sugeng Enjang, Selamat pagi and good morning. Welcome to Duta Wacana English Competition 2022. Technology, Creativity, and Opportunity. Welcome lecturers, guests, and friends. Thank you for joining Duta Wacana English Competition 2022. My name is Pierre Johnson. My name is Winta Hayu Pramesi. And we will be the master of ceremony for today's event. It's an honor for us to welcome our distinguished guest. The Vice, Dean Gover the Vice Governor of the Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta, Kanjeng Gusti Pangeran Adipati Aryo ke-10, our Rector, Bapak Insinyur Henry Ferriati, MSc PhD, our Vice Dean for Students Affair, Alumni and Corporation, Ibu Anesti Budi Ermerawati, SPT M. Hum, our Judges, Bapak Andreas Winardi, MA, Bapak Adi Wira Sanjaya, SPT, Ibu Apri Mulyani, SS, MA. Bapak Ignatius Tri Endarto MA, Ibu Ada Ninggar Septi Subekti MSC, Bapak Januar Adam Prasetya, Ibu Sukasi Ratna Widayanti SSM Hum, Ibu Arita Susietina SSM Hum, and Ibu Dr. Francisca Endang Lestari Ningsi SPT M Hum. And of course, students and teachers that have joined from all around Indonesia to participate in Duta Wacana English Competition 2022. Now we would like to extend our greetings and welcome our sponsors for today. Governor of Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta, Mayor of Kota Yogyakarta, Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana, Kipin School, Smart, Smart School, school solution, solution for Your School, Calculus Education Center, Prepare, Exams, Get International Certificate, Just, one stop studying solution for you. We will also like to thank our media partner, infolomba.seh, gudanglomba.ind, and storycircle underscore info. Now, folks, before we begin today's event, let us all thank God for gathering us virtually this morning. Let us pray that He blesses us so that this event will run smoothly and successfully and able to contribute to the English language education development in Indonesia. We would like to invite Christina to lead the prayer. Allow me to lead the prayer in Christian. Please support us according to your respective beliefs. Good and loving God, our source of love and light, thank you for bringing us together today in the spirit of generosity. Blessed are you, Lord God, ruler of all creation. You know our hearts and our plans, and guide all that we do for your glory. Grant that this project will be for your honor and for the benefit of all your people. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, thank you, Krishna, for the prayer. We would like to remind all the guests and participants in the Zoom meeting to turn on your camera and keep your microphone mute. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Let's sing the national anthem Indonesia Raya respectfully. Yeah. 
Thank you everyone for your participation. Now, we would like to invite the Vice Governor of Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta, Kanjeng Gusti Pangeran Adipati Aryo Pakualam ke-10, to come this, to this virtual stage to deliver the opening remarks. Please give our, please give our warm virtual applause. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom, salam sejahtera, salam sehat untuk kita semua. Saya Paku Alam ke-10, Wakil Gubernur Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta. Mohon izin membacakan sambutan Gubernur Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta. Gubernur Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta Sambutan Duta Wacana English Competition di WEC 2022 Yogyakarta 15 Oktober 2022 Salam damai sejahtera bagi kita semua Yang saya hormati Rektor dan seluruh Sivitas Akademika Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana Khususnya para peserta kompetisi Puji syukur kepada Tuhan Yang Maha Esa Atas anugerah yang dilimpahkannya Sehingga kita masih diperkenankan Untuk mengikuti agenda hari ini Dalam keadaan sehat tanpa kurang suatu apapun Saudara-saudara sekalian Saya mewakili Pemda DIY Menyampaikan apresiasi kepada Badan Eksekutif Mahasiswa Fakultas Kependidikan dan Humaniora Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana Yang pada tahun ini kembali menyelenggarakan Duta Wacana English Competition. Berkaitan dengan tema tahun ini, Technology, Creativity, and Opportunity, tentu merupakan harapan bagi kita bersama bahwa gerakan literasi yang dikemas dalam bentuk kompetisi juga dapat Membawa manfaat lebih Dengan harapan seperti itulah Seiring ucapan Selamat berkompetisi Dan berdiskusi Kerahkanlah Upaya terbaik Sebab momentum ini Mungkin saja dapat Membuka jalan Bagi kesempatan yang lebih baik Dan Mendekatkan adik-adik semua kepada cita-cita yang ingin diraih di masa depan Akhir kata semoga seluruh rangkaian kegiatan dapat berlangsung dengan lancar Dan sukses membawa hasil dan manfaat sesuai dengan yang diharapkan Terima kasih Yogyakarta 15 Oktober 2022 Gubernur Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta ditanda tangani Hamengkubuwono ke-10. Demikian telah kami bacakan sambutan Gubernur Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta. Terima kasih atas perhatiannya. Shalom, salam sejahtera dan salam sehat untuk kita semua. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Ya, Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you Kanjeng Gusti Sri Pakualam ke-10 for the opening remarks. We would also like to say that we also hope that dreams of the participants can be achieved right Pierre? Right. right. So, Pierre, what are we going to do now? All right. Before we officially open and begin to the Wachana English Composition 2022. We would like to invite Kaunomi as a head of the committee of to the Wachana English Composition 2022. To Kaunomi, 
the stage is yours. Good morning, everyone. Dear the Honorable Gus, Mr. and Mrs. Governor of Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta, Mr. and Mrs. Mayor of Yogyakarta, Mr. and Mrs. Judges, Mr. and Mrs. Lecturers, friends, family, and everyone who comes to this event. Welcome to Duta Wacana English Competition. I am cheerful to see so many colleges, sponsors, friends, and family attending this event, as well as for those who follow this event online or virtually. This Duta Wacana English Competition event provides very unique opportunities for all of us. This year, Duta Wacana English Competition is coming back to provide an opportunity for high school students and their friends to hone their English skills. I thank all the members of the Duta Wacana English Competition Committee for working so hard to prepare for this wonderful event for almost a half year. Your strong support and participation have made this Duta Wacana English Competition successful until now. I also thank the sponsor who have worked hard together with us to elevate this event. I also thank and express enthusiasm and congratulations to the registrant for the competition organized by the Duta Wacana, especially the Humanities Faculty. Congratulations to the winners and cheers to those of you who haven't won this year. Stay humble and I must say that all of you are great. No mountain is to hike and the sky is only the limit. Be limitless in everything you do. That's all from me. Thank you for being a patient listener. Enjoy today. Thank you. Thank you, Kanomi, for the welcoming speech. Yeah, no mountain is too high and the sky is the limit. Wow, what a wonderful speech right here. Right, of course. Yeah, now. The moment we're waiting for is finally here. Let us now invite the Rector of Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana, Bapak Insinyur Henry Feriadi, MSc PhD, to officially open the event today. Very good morning to you all. Our warmest greetings to you all. Our distinguished guests, especially the Governor and the Mayor of Yogyakarta, who have been supporting this event in the past few years. We would like to give our highest appreciation for your continuous support to our event. On behalf of Duta Wacana Christian University, I would like to congratulate for the committee who already uh, successfully organized this Duta Wacana English competition. I think this is not the first year, but we have been organizing this event for many years in the past. We hope that this year, Duta Wacana English competition would be more uh, competitive and more enjoyable to you all, for all the participants from the high schools, both in DIA or in Yogyakarta Special Province, and uh, as well as uh, Central Java Province. That I, will, uh, I would like to welcome all the participants on this online Duta Wacana English competitions. We hope that this event would be fruitful and meaningful to you all. God bless you and hopefully this event will be a successful one. Right, thank you Baba Henry for the wonderful remarks and opening the event today. There you go folks. Duta Wacana English Competition 2022 is officially opened. But first, Pierre. Yes, Kayu. To commemorate this event today. Yes. How about we take some group photos first? Of course, we will take some photos. So for the participant, please open up your camera. We will take some photos together to commemorate this event. Okay. Right, let's wait for those who still, the camera is still off to open their camera first. Yeah, come on come guys. Come on, come on. Open up your camera. Right, don't be shy, right Pierre? Right. Right. 
Yeah, I, if you're shy, then you can put a mask on, probably. Come on. Yeah, thank you for those who have opened their camera. Oh, you have Pumega there. Hi, Pumega. <laughs> Open up your camera, guys. Open up. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be shy. Yeah, we're still waiting. Okay, wow, so many of you are here right now. Oh, we also have the judges. Yeah. Let's say hi to the judges. Hi, judges. Hello. Hi, judges. <laughs> okay, maybe we can take some pictures right now? Yes. Yeah, operator, are you ready? Ready. Now, the first page. Let's pose. One, two. two. Three. Three. The second page. And now the next page. Okay. Okay, thank you all for participating, participating in this group photos. Now, Pierre, yes, sir. my heart is really pounding right now. What about you, Pierre? Absolutely, Kahayu. It's a yes from me. Wow, right? we're both excited, right? Yeah. yeah. And how about you guys? Aren't you excited too? You can show up your reaction. It can be a laugh or a thumbs up or a shy emoji because of nervousness. Okay. We know that you can't wait to watch your videos. And neither can we, right, Pierre? Yes. Yeah. However, before we dive into the celebration, let's have a bit of fun first. Okay, the first game that we will play is Truth or Dare. There will be four options, consists of either Truth or Dare. The participant will choose one number. Yeah, so whoever wants to play with us, come on guys, let's play. Come Don't, on. Yeah. Please raise hands virtually by clicking the raise hand button on the reaction panel. Right. Come on, guys. Don't be come shy. Come on, come on. Don't worry. There'll be, there will we'll be, be prices, prices right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And interesting prices, oh, right? Oh, interesting prices, of course. Come so on, guys. So, guys, come on. Raise your hand. Should we choose you or do you want to voluntarily raise your hand? Come on. Who wants to raise their hands? Come on. There will be prices, so don't worry. Yeah. Come on, guys. Or Kahayu, should we choose? I think we should choose because I think the participants kind of shy, right, Pierre? Yes. Oh. Ah. There's a volunteer here. Hi there. Hi there, you can open up your microphone and say your name. Hello, my Hi. name is Muhammad Yes Fadli Kusuma. You and can call me call Fadli you? or Sufad. Oh, Hi. Hello. Oh, should we call you? Sorry. Um, you can call me Fadli or Supadli. Fadli. Uh, okay. okay. Hi, Fadli. So, Fadli, what number do you choose? Yeah. You can choose from one, yeah. two, three, or four. Um, I choose number three. Number three. Number three. Okay, Kamati, can you open number three for us? Now, ah, Fadli, you need to tell us a joke, but of course in what language, Pierre? In English. In English, of course. Of course. <laughs> now, Fadli, 
Do you have a joke in your mind right now? Mm, actually, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay. Okay. We'll give you how about ten seconds to think out the joke. Oh, Here? isn't it too fast? Oh, it's too fast. I think. Then what will what we're going to do, Pierre? Thirty seconds, maybe. Thirty seconds. We're going to give you thirty seconds to think okay. of a joke. Okay. 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 Let's go, Budley. You can do it. Yeah, well, we're waiting for Fadli to think out the joke, Pierre. Um, <laughs> it's not easy, right, to think out of joke? No, it's yeah. not easy, especially in English, right? Right! <laughs> it's easier in Indonesian because we can all relate, right? Yes, right, right. Right, especially in bah Bahasa Daerah. It's more easy, right? It's yes. easier. It right. will run smoothly. Yeah, <laughs> but in English, we have to translate it. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it's going to lost in translation, right? Yeah, and it can be awkward. Yeah, it can be <laughs> awkward. Have you ever tell a joke in English? Never. Never. <laughs> Usually I just type in in Google, joke in English. Ah. <laughs> okay, Fadli, are you ready? Oh, I think Fadli is using my method. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, Fadli. It's okay if you as want to. As long as you make us laugh, yeah. no matter if it's from internet or yours. Just search it on Google. Yeah. It's okay, it's, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Yeah, it's that's totally fine. fine. Fadli is practicing how to uh, present it. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, oh, okay. is ready for He's ready. Go. Give a blast. Ready, Badly? Ready? Go. Come on. Um, life is too short, but smile while well, you still have tea. Oh. <laughs> okay. <Badly. laughs> Give a blast. Give it a blast. Great job, Badly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Badly, you make all, all of us laugh. Even the comedy in the background is all laughing. Congratulations. Congratulations, Badly. <laughs> A winner, right? For right. this mini game. Now we have the second participant. Who will it gonna be? Come on, guys. You can volunteer yourself. There is prize for you. Okay. Oh, hi there. Open up your Hello. microphone and say your name. My name is Stephanie Putri. And how should we call you? Um, Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie, okay. okay. Hello okay. there, Stephanie. So, what number do you mm -hmm. choose? Yeah, there's one, two, and four, four. Two. available. Number two. two. Okay. okay. Comedy mm -hmm. number two. Oh, okay. it's a dare. Yeah. yeah, it's another dare. Okay, Stephanie. <laughs> We will give you. Is thirty seconds enough, Pierre? I think making a mm -hmm. pattern is a bit harder oh, it's a than bit make a joke. Right. What day is that? How about um, how about one minute? Wait, can I ask what day that I have to do? Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, you have to make <laughs> a pantun. You know pantun, right? Okay. Yeah, good. And of course. It is in English. The topic mm. is uh, whatever you like. Yeah, whatever you like. A minute. Okay. Is that Wait. enough for you? Oh, I think she's already typing. Wow, her face is already <laughs> working here. Wait, wait. Um, should I type it or should I um just? Oh, you can just say it. Yeah. I just say, say it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is she done, Pierre? 
Wow, wow. that's interesting. She's fast. Look, yeah, she's fast. You can tell us whenever you're ready, okay? Okay. <laughs> wow, making a pantun even in Indonesian is hard, hard. right there. And this is in English. And this is in English. English. <laughs> right. Because the, the end of the lines have two rhymes. Do you know what I used to do? What, I, what's that? I used to just Google like words ending with uh, <laughs> <laughs> another Google. Another, another Google. Google. Because our team, our team today is uh, we also um, technology is in our team, right? Yeah. So that is why I use technology. <laughs> She's really thinking, wow, oh, look at that face, look at Stephanie. She's face. working so hard. She's working, yeah. <laughs> you know how the gears work? Um, <laughs> one for the money, one for the money. Two, for the two for the show. I love you, honey. I'm ready to go. Ah! Give her applause, give her applause. Are you blushing too, Pierre? Uh, a bit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, participants? Are you blushing too? <laughs> okay, congratulations, Stephanie. That was a great pantun. Uh, so, Stephanie is our second winner of the mini game. And now we move to the third yeah, volunteer. Third, yeah, third volunteer for the mini games. So, you can raise up your hand. Come on, come on. Go. Who is it gonna be? Who wants to play? Will it be truth or what? will it be dare? dare? Come on, raise Come up on. your hand. Raise up, raise up. Should we choose for you? I think we have to choose. I think we have to choose. Yes. Can we choose the judges? Oh, it cannot be. Oh, it it cannot, cannot be. be. <laughs> Or okay, maybe the judges, then. or maybe the judges, we ask the judges. The judges, maybe you want to play or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, guys. Come on, come on, volunteer. Any volunteers? Yeah, it won't be hard this time. I think so. I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think because um, the first two was uh, were a dare, so I think they probably get nervous. <laughs> <in the laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, shall we choose a participant? I think, yes, I think we so. have to choose. Yeah. Okay, Kamati, can you choose a participant for us? because nobody's turning on their camera now. <laughs> We're having a hard time with the area. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the first winner was Fadli. The second winner there was Stephanie. Stephanie. Now we're looking for the third, third winner. winner. I promise you it won't be difficult. There are two options left. Yeah. Fadli and Stephanie also can do it, right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm sure everyone can do it also. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Let's go to Fika Larasati. Hi, Fika Larasati. Can you hear us? Ah, uh, hi, Vika. Thank you. Okay. Vika, we have yes. chosen you to play the truth or dare game. Now, now we, the numbers that available is one and four, right, Pierre? One and four. So, what number do, do are you going to choose, Vika? 
I choose number one. Number one. Yes. Okay. Wow, it's a truth question. It's, it's a true. Yeah. yeah. Why you do you participate in Duta Wacana English Competition 2022? Tell um, us your I, I will answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I participate the uh, competition Duta Wacana English because I want to. I want to make my English speaking is more great and can fluent. Ah, so it's your motivation and also your hope, yeah? Yes. Uh, to improve your English skill, of course, right? Right. Right. Okay, thank okay, you, Vika. Thank you. Vika, later on, yes? if you want to improve more on your English uh, skills, you can go to PBI Ukadewi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're open for everyone. Yeah, we're, we're open to everyone. That's right, yeah. Okay, congratulations for all the winners for the first mini game. <laughs> give a plus, give a plus one more. For Fadli and Stephanie and Fika. Later on, you'll be contacted by our committee. And the first mini game session is sponsored by Kipin School, digital solution for all schools in Indonesia. Smart, Smart School Solution for your, for school. your school. And now, the part that we have been waiting for has finally come. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, fasten your seatbelt. Here's Story Reading Contest. contest. Storytelling, Jalan and Cable, the Snake. Illustrator, author by Lee Summer, and illustrator by Nathan Jeremiah. Jalan get into bed. Grandma tells him a story about Cable. Jalan sighed. Is it true? Jalan calls his eyes. He pictured the large, dark snake sliding and gliding towards him. Out of the night, his cat's petty bleeds loudly. Ba ba ba! Oh my gosh! John jumps up. But is still outside. He walks outside in bare feet. He hurries into the buses. Quickly, he gathers some fine for Betty's supper. He antes Betty's joke. As he rushes to the pen, his eyes dart around, looking for danger. He tries to not listen to the creepy like sound. The path seems very, very long. Then, Jalen feels something chilly, something slippery, touch his toes. He freezes. He feels that he feels the cold thing again. He step back. His hands are now sweating. Jalen turn to run back home. The fine and Betty's rope fall from his hands. As he tries to pick up the rope, That's okay, says son. You have helped cool everyone off. Thank you. But this only makes Cloud angry. Gets thicker and refuses to go away. For three days and nights, Cloud covers the earth. Sun begs Cloud to let him shine. Please, many lives will be harmed if I do not get to shine soon. Oh, Cloud refuses to listen and gathers all the clouds together to send rain 
down to the earth. Hmm. At first, people cheer for the rainfall. Cloud becomes puffed up with pride that he is getting some attention at last. He thinks more rain will make the people praise him even more. So, he sends torrents of water down to the earth, causing floods everywhere. Oh, but people are no longer praising cloud. Their houses are floating and they are afraid. Finally, Cloud runs out of water to pour on the earth. He thins and lets sun pick blue again. As sun's warm rays beat down on the earth, the water that was not absorbed by the cloud evaporates into the sky, and the floods recede. Ho ho ho! Hello guys! First, let me introduce myself. My name is Kaisa Putra Marika. I'm from Patmanaba. So, today, I will tell you guys an amazing story called Mena's Three Wishes. Hope you'll enjoy it! Mena is a little girl who lives in a village with her parents, her grandmother, her brother Raju, and her baby sister Rani. Mitu, the parrot, is her best friend. In many ways, Mena is like any other little girl you know, but in some ways, she is completely different. Share in Mena's adventures as she loves, climbs trees, asks questions, and solves problems, and shows you all the things a little girl can do. One evening, Mena's grandmother told Mena and Raju the story of Aladdin and his magic lamp. A genie would appear and make all his wishes come true. That night, Mena dreamt that she and Raju 
were flying all over the world on a magic carpet. They saw many wonderful things. Mena and Raju also saw village where children were ill and unhappy. Mena felt sad to see the sick children. She realized that many illnesses are caused because people don't use clean water for bathing and drinking. The genie offered to give Mena whatever she wants. Diamonds and rubies, fame and fortune, what would Mena wish for? I wish everyone would use clean latrines, said Mena. My second wish is that everyone will use safe clean water so they don't fall ill. I also wish people would wash their hands before eating and show you all the things a little girl can do. The story starts from one evening when Mena's grandmother told Mena and Raju the story of Aladdin and his magic lamp. A genie will appear and make all his wishes come true. After that, Mena go to sleep. In her dream, Mena and Raju were flying all over the world on a magic carpet. There were so many wonderful things I really jealous. Mena and Raju also saw villagers where children were ill and unhappy. So, Mena feels sad to see the sick children. She realized that many illnesses are caused because people don't use clean water for bathing and drinking. But the genie come to Mena. The genie offered to give Mena whatever she want. Do you want diamond and rubies, fame and fortune, or what would Mena wish for? The first Mena wish is, I wish everyone use clean lantern, said Mena. The second wish is, my second wish is, I wish everyone use clean water so they don't fall ill. The last wish is, I also wish people use will wash their hands before eating and after using the lantern or cleaning a baby, said Mena. What did Jenny respond? The Jenny was surprised and Mena too wishes, but he grabbed them. Is it easy, right? Mesa hesitates. They have not lived in that village for long. She doesn't know where the water source is, but if she doesn't go... Just then, Mesa hears her neighbor Ambu calls up. Mama, I'm going to go fetch some water. Mesa dirt out. May I go collect water with you? She asks Ambu. Hmm. Can you handle the long walk up the hills? Ambu is not so sure. Yes, I can. I really can. Nessa hurriedly looks for a jerry can. Hmm. <laughs> Where's the cup of the jerry can? Are you sure you're going? Do you know where the water source is? Mother asks. I'm going with Ambu, Mother. Nessa replies. Soon, Nessa and her friends are on their way. They walk with hope that they will get clean water today. The path is rocky and hard. Nessa and her friends walk for a long time. Up and down the hill. They plowed under 
the scorching heat. <sighs> it's hot. Ah, water. Where are you? Nessa feels very tired. Yet, the water is so far away. Out! My sandal! Hey, wait for me! Nessa shouts. She never thought they needed to walk so far to collect water. Ambu, is the water still far away? Where? Almost there. Oh, how much longer do we have to walk? There has been no rain for a while. Just a little further. Hang on, in there, says Abu. Neza begins to lag behind. Before she knows it, Abu is already way ahead. She quickens her steps to keep up with her friends. <laughs> Soon, everyone shouts in excitement. Hooray! This water! Where? Oh no, we still have to go down these sharp and steep rocks. Oops! Neza almost sleeps. Finally! Clean water! After all the heat. To be a teacher because she likes to help people learn. Delta wants to be a doctor because she wants to help sick people. Hanesafan wants to be a novice mom because he wants to show his community how to be a good person. As for Danke, she wants to be a magician because she loves magic shows. But she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't have a tool that a magician needs. There's not even a school for magician in his neighborhood. <laughs> Danku loves her dog. He is her best helper. Wow. Look at this. This old magic trick. Wow. All this trick gives Danku an idea. She will teach herself how to be a good magician and her trusty dog will help. First, Danko turns the rice basket into a magic hat. Then, she turns the curtain into her magician cape. The sticky rice container turns into a magic box. Chopsticks become her one. Danka is finally a good magician. She and her dog can now perform magic for all her friends. And that is exactly what they do. The end. Okay, everyone, before I answer. And rescue them from the trap while the monsters dropped his eyes and shouted furiously. He was so angry, he pulled the tree off the ground and attacked it. Let's go back to the palace, the princess shouted. The princess and her bodyguards fled to the palace. Back in the palace, Discussion about the princess's marriage was going on. Princes from neighboring kingdoms had sent their messengers to the palace with their marriage proposals. But the princess refused all of the proposals. Later, the princess's fight with the monster was also discussed, and everyone praised her for her bravery. Many friends came to her, but none could win her heart. 
But the monster had heard of this news that the princess was refusing all of her suitors, and he became more certain than ever that he wanted to marry her. But one day, a worthy prince came to the palace. The princess liked the prince, and the two fell in love. Everyone in the palace was happy, and preparations for the wedding began. On the day of the wedding, the monster snuck into the palace. Yeah, he barged into the princess's room through a window. Then he attacked the princess's maid and kidnapped the princess. The queen came to visit her child. Aren't you ready yet? She called from outside of the room. It's about time to sit on the wedding altar. When the queen got no response from her daughter, she banged on the door loudly. The maids regained their consciousness and opened the door. Then, the maids told the queen what had happened, and the queen wept. Come back. Come back, my dear son, Keshi. Where could the monster have taken the princess? Everyone wanted to know, but no one knew the answer. Finally, the king, the queen, and their soldiers set out the search of their princess. All of the kingdom soon learned what had happened. How dare that monster took away our beloved son, Kenshi. And they too set out the search for the- Why doesn't Chun Jedi put us in our proper places? Doesn't he care for us? At that very moment, the clock that was placed above the cupboard came crashing down to the floor and broke the earthen pots into pieces. The loud cracking noise caused all the things in Junjera's room to tremble with fright. The clock was quite sh sh shaken up. One of its hands had come loose from the floor. The poor clock, it had not fallen on its own. John Jedi had kept the clock too close to the edge of the cupboard. The drinking glass was also terribly frightened. It noticed the scissors sitting right next to it. Its sharp edges a bit too close. The glass cried fearfully. Please turn your sharp edges away from me. The scissors said, It's not me. John Jedi has put me here. What can I do? A shirt from the other side of the room cried out, Oh, you silk banana peel. Get away, you may stain me. All of them complained in one voice. This mess is all because of Sean Jedi. After using us, he forgot to put us back in our right places. And then complains when he cannot find us. One day, Sean Jedi wanted to write a letter. Unsurprisingly, he couldn't find his pen. He crumbled loudly and search his cluttered room. Finally, he found it and started writing. After Chun Jedi finished writing the letter, he wanted to cap his bed. But it was missing. Where had the cat gone? It had rolled under his bed, but didn't utter a sound. It felt insulted for being abandoned. John Jedi left to post the letter. Fed up with John Jedi's carelessness, all his things in the room gathered 
for a meeting. While his things were loudly discussing their problems inside, John Jedi came back to the room. He had forgotten his wallet. He was just about to enter his room when he heard noises from inside. Maybe a thief has gone inside. He thought to himself. He crept to the door and listened as closely as he could. The pan spoke first, its voice heavy with seriousness. Friends, we must do something about this situation. The shirt lying on the floor looked sadly at the hook on the wall and said, We are always being thrown about. The book began to sob. Almost all my pages are torn. Even little children know how to respect me. But John Jedi throws me all over the place. Should we put up with such behavior from him? John Jedi's things shouted in one voice. No, not at all. We are hurt and disappointed. And John Jedi must know about this. The book said, Pan, write the John Jedi that we won't remain silent any longer. He must change his ways. Write in big and bold letters so that John Jedi clearly sees our message. <sighs> Breathing a heavy sigh, the pen said, I cannot write by myself. Someone must hold me in their head. They all felt sad and said, How do we tell John Jedi how we feel? John Jedi, he feels the cold thing again. He steps back. His hands are now sweating. Jalon turns to run back home. The vine and Betty's rope fell from his hands. As he tries to pick up the rope, he trips on a mango tree stump. Bang! Falls flat. Ouch! Owie! Jalon whimpers. His eyes are wet. He eases his head up a bit. He closes his eyes tightly. And when he opens them again, what does he see? A pair of green glowing eyes. The big snake has scales like glossy coats. Hello, I'm creepy, says the creature. Jalen's chest gets tight. It is hard to breathe. Are you hurt? Asked the snake. Jalen sees Kribu's strong fangs. Jalen's mouth opens, but he makes no sound. He has to get away. His legs feels like they are no longer his. One of knee burns like the taste of burnt pepper. His heart races. He wishes someone would come to save him, but only Kribu is here. A bailiff stick. Surely the stick will help him to defend himself. The green eyes are still on him. Betty screams out, Bang! 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 Jalon remembers Grandma's story about Kribu. No, no, no! Not Betty! He shouts. He takes the bailiff stick. His legs are shaking, but he stands tall. 
His eyes are fire. He stands between bed and Phoebe. Jalon is now a stick fighter. Do you think I don't know about you? Says Jalon. You coil yourself around animals and you squeeze them to death. That's not true. I only eat rats and other snakes, replies Creepy. I don't believe you. I... Oh, goodness gracious me. This room is so messy. Oh, hello everyone. I didn't see you there. I'm Audrey and I'm sorry you have to see this unsightly room. But talking about a messy room, I'm sure I left a book talking about it somewhere out here. Uh, where is it? Um, ah, oh, here it is. Alright, everyone, sit down, grab a snack or maybe a blanket if you're cold and let me read you a story entitled Jungadai's Things by Balkoseli Group and Niraj Balami. Are you ready to listen? In a busy town far away, there were many houses. In one of the house, there was a room that belonged to a man called Jungadai. Although the room was nice and big, it was very untidy. Jungadai's things were everywhere. The clothes were not on the hangers, but lying on the floor. Papers and books were all over the bookshelf. The pen, ink bottle, drinking glass, and the pair of scissors were all thrown about in a mess. There was even a banana peel left carelessly on the floor. Jungadai's things felt angry and upset. The earthen pot near the cupboard was thinking to itself, Why doesn't Jungadai put us back in our proper places? Doesn't he care for us? At that very moment, the clock that was sitting above the cupboard came crashing down to the floor and broke the earthen pot into pieces. The loud cracking noise made all the things in Jugudai's room tremble with fright. The clock was quite shaken up. One of its hands had come loose from the floor. Oh, the poor clock. It had not fallen on its own. Jugudai had placed the clock too close to the edge. The drinking glass was also terribly frightened. It noticed the scissors sitting right next to it. Its sharp edges was a bit too close. The glass cried fearfully. Please, turn your sharp edges away from me, the scissors said. It's not my fault. Jungadai has put me here. What am I supposed to do? A shirt from the other side of the room cried out. Oh, you stale banana peel. Get away. You may stain me. All of them complained in one voice. This mess is all because of Jungadai. He, after using us, he forgets to put us back in our right places and then complains when he can't find us. As you can see, Jungadai's room is very messy. One day, Jungadai wanted to write a letter. Unsurprisingly, he couldn't find his pen. He grumbled loudly. <sighs> and search his cluttered room. Finally, he found it and started writing. 
After Chilidai finished writing the letter, he wanted to cap his pen. But it was missing. Where had the cap gone? It had rolled under his bed. But it didn't utter sound. It felt so insulted for being abandoned. And Judah left to post the letter. Fed up with Judah's carelessness, all the things in his room gathered for a meeting. While his things were loudly discussing their problems inside, Jungadai came back to his room because he forgot his wallet. He was about to enter his room when he heard noises inside. There must be a thief inside, he thought to himself. He crept up to the door and listened as closely as he could. The pen spoke first, its voice heavy with seriousness. Friends, we must do something about this situation. The shirt lying on the floor looked sadly at the hook on the wall. We are always being thrown about! The book began to sob. <laughs> Almost all my pages are torn. Even children respect me, but Jungadai throws me all over the place. Should we put up with such behavior from him? Jungadai's things shouted in one voice. No, not at all. We are hurt and disappointed and Jungadai must know how we feel about this. Hello everyone. My name is Abigail Japonia, the Japonese Head Bioko. I'm from SMA Kopisatu, Yogyakarta. Now, I would like to tell you a story. Have you ever known the story of the jealous clouds? Not yet? Alright, so here is the story. The Jealous Cloud, written by so much. Every morning, sun sets a golden glow over the world. People admire its beauty and warmth. Cloud become jealous that people think sun is more valuable than him. You are not so great, Cloud says. You are always the same shape and follow the shame growing path as you send the heat and light to the earth. I can travel in any direction and transform into any shape you imagine. Sun just keeps shining, not bothered at all by clouds comment. But soon, sun's wave of strong heat began to dry out the earth. This heat is too strong, clouds complain. Surely, people would appreciate some rain right now. This is my chance. Soon, sun's waves of strong heat began to dry out the earth. This heat is too strong, Cloud complains. Surely, people would appreciate some rain right now. This is my chance. Immediately, sun's lights get softer and the sky gets darker. Everyone wonders what is going on. Cloud reaches out across the sky to cover up sun's light. Your warmth and light are gone now, sun. Cloud pillows. That's okay, say Sun. You have helped cool everyone off. Thank you. But this only makes Claude angrier. He gets thicker and refuses to go away. For three days and nights, Claude covers the earth. Sun begs Claude to let him shine. 
please. Many lives will be harmed if I do not get shine soon. Claude refuses to listen and gathers all the clothes together to send away down to the earth. At first, people cheer for the rainfall. Claude becomes puffed up with pride that he is getting some attention at last. He thinks more rain will make the people praise him even more. So, the four friends gather near the big tree to practice. Rabbit dumped a container with his paws. Bang bang. Frog dumped again with a stick. Pong pong. And bear bang on a mark with a spoon. Ting ting. Who spun and twirled to the music? Suddenly, to everyone's surprise, the wooden stick fell out of Brock's hand. It hit Goose on the head. Bomb. Before Brock could apologize, Goose slashed out in anger. If you cannot play properly, please leave! She shouted. Bear and Rabbit try to convince Frog to stay. We can't play without you, they say. But Frog hopped off sadly. Goose asks Bear and Rabbit to play their music game. But without Frog's delirium, she had trouble following the music and fell down. After falling many times, Goose became angry at Bear and Rabbit too. So, the two musicians left Goose and went home. Goose sat alone for a long time and thought about what had happened. Eventually, Goose realized, Me, as I have served your people. For many, many years, I give you water, I give you food, but all you do is litter and pollute you. How can I help you? Ask Chilo. That is easy, says Ripananda. Give me your cattle. But, but, but they belong to daddy. Then. I will swallow you up instead. Please don't swallow me, begs Chilo. I promise I will help you clean up the litter. I promise I will tell the villagers not to pollute you. I don't believe you, young man, says Rivernanda. Meanwhile, Back in the village, everyone is looking for Chilo. I saw your son go, that's even Nanda. The old woman points. They all run down to the river bank. A rumbling noise rises from the river. River Nanda is growing even more angry. River Nanda floods towards them. She sucks them all into her deep water. Help us! Please! Do not swallow us! The villagers back. Why are you so angry with us? We have littered and polluted River Nanda for too many years, shouts Julo from the other bank. Fernanda has done is look after us. 
We promise that the magic card of her. We promise. Save us now. Cry, Turfield. While his things were loudly discussing their problems inside, Jimmy came back to the room. He had forgotten his wallet. He was just about to enter his room when he heard noises from inside. Maybe the thief has got inside, he thought to himself. He crept up to the door and listened as closely as he could. The pen spoke first, its voice heavy with seriousness. Friends, we must do something about this situation. The shirt lying on the floor looked sadly at the hook on the wall and said, We are always being thrown about. The book began to stop. Almost all my pages are torn. Even little children know how to respect me. But should I post me all over the place? Should they put up with such behavior from him? Judai's things shouted in one voice. No, no at all. We are hurt and disappointed. And Judai must know about this. The book then said, Pen, write to Junidai that we won't remain silent any longer. He must change his ways. Write in big and bold letters so that Junidai clearly sees our messages. Breathing with a heavy sigh, the pen said, <sighs> I can't write by myself, friends. Someone must hold me in their hand. They all felt sad and said, How do we tell Jugadai how we feel? Jugadai, who had been listening to their discussion from outside the room, stepped inside. Don't stop me. Ha 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 ha. A few days later, a ward princess came to the palace. The princess liked the prince. The two fell in love. Everyone in the palace was very happy. Preparation for the wedding began. On the day of the wedding, the monster sneaked into the palace. He entered the princess's room through a window. Then, he attacked the princess maid and kidnapped the princess. A short time later, the queen came looking for the princess. Aren't you ready yet? She called from the outside the room. Please come out. It's about time to see it on the wedding altar. When the queen get no response from her daughter, she banged on the door loudly. The match regained consciousness and opened the door. The maid told the queen what had happened. Come back, oh, come back, dear son Keishi. Many others swept along with her. Where could monster have taken the princess? Everyone wanted to know, but no one knew the answer. Finally, the king, the queen, and their soldiers set out in search of the princess. All the people in the kingdom soon learned what had happened. How dare monsters take away our beloved Keishi, they said. They to set out in search of the princess. My grandma used to tell me stories of monsters who live in caves. One boy told his friends. They met a plan to go and find the princess. To stay warm until one day he ran up the sugar. He could not drink tea without making a sugar. 
which is why he's not drinking tea at night. The night becomes very cold. Does he have to do something? He remembers that an ostrich admired his wing, and that an ostrich at thick wool. The next morning, the sheep went to the ostrich and asked for his wool in exchange for his wing. The ostrich told the sheep he need time to think about it. He said that he need a week to think about it. There was a long cold week for the sheep. At the end of the week, the sheep went back to the ostrich. I will give you my wool. But there is a rule that you must follow. You must not tell anyone where you got this wool. The sheep disagreed, but he also had a rule about his wing. I will give you my wing, but do not try to use them before the end of the week. The oxen escaped the wing, and the sheep got the wool. The oxen had. The Aussie was too excited to have wing to the point that he forgot about the ship's wool. To wait a week before trying to use them, he then tried to use them at that day because he could not keep his promise. Till today, he, the Aussie cannot fly even though he has wing. The ship kept his promise not to tell anyone where he got this wool. Until today, he is very quiet and does not talk to anyone. Okay, that was the end of the that's the end of the story. Hope you guys enjoy and learn something new. Wow, what a fantastic performance from its participants! Let's give applause once again. How about that fault? They take us to another dimension of fantasy. Don't you think like that, Kahayu? Yeah, I agree with you, Pierre. I'm amazed, actually. Hey, yeah. let's give applause to all the story reading contestants. <laughs> all right, before we go to the next session, let's hear some feedback from Papa Andreas Winarti, MA. To Papa Andreas. The screen is yours. Yeah, okay. Good morning, all. Uh, first of all, once again, I would like to give applause to all participants for uh, showing us amazing performance. Yeah, okay, you are all wonderful. Okay, uh, well, I think it is quite difficult for us, the judges, to decide who the winners are. But uh, after showing and watching the video, uh, we decide that the winners are the one who are able to use all the weapons or the tool effectively. Yeah, of course, the first weapon is your voice. Yeah, okay, you can uh, manipulate your voice to get the audience attention. Okay, so you can speak slowly, you can speak fast, you can speak soft, you can speak loud. Yeah, amazing. Okay, so the first one is your voice. Another weapon is your gesture, yeah? Okay, some participants use gestures quite effectively, facial expressions, and so on and so forth. And also, another weapon, yeah, okay, that you can use is the sound, the music, the costume, and so on. So if you want to win the competition, yeah, this is a tough competition, of course, please maximize, yeah, all the weapons, all the tools, that you can use to get the audience attention. Yeah, your voice, your gesture, your facial expression, your costume, yeah, okay. And then others, yeah, visual aids, yeah, something like that. So uh, first of all, I would like to say once again, thank you, yeah, for the opportunity for us to show amazing performance. The second one, uh, I would like to say that all participants are amazing, yeah, just uh, you need uh, what is cutting edge, yeah, okay, additional value that you can add to your performance. So, uh, congratulations for the winners, yeah, okay, I believe that you have been able to use all, almost all the weapon effectively. And for those who haven't won this time, 
uh, you still have a lot of opportunities. Yeah, I hope that next year you can join again. You learn from the uh, feedback. You learn from the the other friends' performance, and I believe that opportunities will come to you. Thank you. Yeah, I would like to give the time back to the MCs. Thank you, Baba Andreas, for the feedback. What a wonderful feedback from you. Right, the weapons and the tools right yes. here that's yes. absolutely important from facial expression, gesture, and then what else? Costumes, visual aids, and also voice. Yes. Yeah, so the next time you joined a story reading competition, don't forget about the weapons and tools that Sir Andre already mentioned. Now, friends, let's crack our knuckles first. Hmm, stretch our body. Yeah. And let's jump into the second game. The second game will be Guess, Guess the, the song. song. We will play a part of the lyrics and you have to guess the title of the song. After the lyrics have been played, if you know the answer, don't forget to raise your hand virtually by clicking the raise hand button on the reaction panel. And also, don't be worried because there are some prizes for the winners, right? Right, of course, Pierre. Okay, now for the first song. Are you ready, operator? Okay, okay, let's play the lyrics. Okay. So remember when we already when we're going after we play the lyrics, you can if you know immediately the answer, you can all you can immediately raise your hand. So friends, get ready. We're having some technical issues, but don't worry. We're we're, we're trying it. to fix yeah. fix it. So just wait a moment. Prepare yourself. Yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. Oh. oh no! Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the title of the yeah. song has already figured. The first song <laughs> is. I think we have to scratch that first question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, maybe we can move to the to the next song. Are you maybe? Yeah, we can move to the next game. Pierre. Yeah. So. Third game, the last mini game for today's will be Guess, guess the, the emoji. emoji. We will show you an arrangement of emoji and you have to guess the phrase or word. Right. So, after we show you the picture, remember to raise your hand virtually by clicking the raise hand button on the reaction panel. Okay. The anyway. first emoji has already been shown. Yeah, please don't say it, Pierre. Okay. Because if you say it, then you will <laughs> immediately uh, give the answer. <laughs> yeah, so anyone knows? Come on, raise your hands. Raise your hand. For those who understand. You can type it on the chat box right. or you can unmute yourself and speak. Come on. Any 
Anyone knows the answer? Come on, it's a picture of a what is it? Okay, I'll give you um, I'll give you a key. It's a chicken, a saw, and a tree. But there's a minus T. What does it mean, Pierre? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you know it. Oh, of course I know. <laughs> but do you know? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Knows? There will be prizes for you who can answer that. Uh, right. So, there's this. The picture is an arrangement of the uh, emojis. Now... You have to guess the phrase or the word to make. You have to make a phrase or a word for uh, from the pictures, the emojis. Okay, uh, the rule is the same as when you play the bakata. Yes, that's right. Have you ever uh, have you ever played guess the emoji from Instagram? It's just like that. Now for the first picture earlier. It's a phrase. It's a. Uh, it's a a a a. What is it? Anyone knows? Yeah. Anyone who wants to answer, please raise your hand. We want to hear your voice. Come on. Okay, from SMK Bob Kri, SMA Bob Kri 2. Oh, SMK Bob Kri 2. Can you open your mic? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. hello. Uh, is it a teacher or a student? <coughs> teacher, actually, sorry. Oh, hello, <laughs> okay. sir. May we know your name? Uh, uh, my name is Yuka. Uh, Vika. Yuka. Oh, Yuka. Oh, okay. So, Bapak Yuka. Okay, Bapak Yuka <laughs> yes. uh, is a teacher from SMK Bokri 2. Is that correct, Bapak? Yes, I'm a teacher from SMK Bokri 2. My student categories, yeah, they can yeah, get the winner. <laughs> ah, hopefully, yeah. We'll see later, Pak Yuka, ya. Yeah? Okay, Pak Yuka, for the first question, there is a picture of the chicken, the saw, <laughs> the and tree. a tree without yeah. T. Minus yeah. T. Yeah. yeah. And the tree. T. What is the phrase, Pak Yuka? Yeah. Okay, the phrase is if I'm not mistaken, I am sorry. Like I, I am I, I and am. so and re like that. So okay. Is that a slang like that? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I am sorry about that. Oh, Pak Yuka answer is, I am, I am sorry. sorry. Okay. Uh, is that it, true? I don't know. Let's check it out. Yes! yes! That's correct. But you guys are teachers, so but you guys yeah. smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Actually, I, I asked yeah. my student to, to answer the question, but I don't know where are they. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's it's thank if you, you think it you. in English, it won't it won't be it won't be completed. So you have to think outside the box. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, but you got. Thank you for participating. Now for the second questions. Are you ready, folks? Don't forget to raise your hand. Nah. Okay. Ah. The emoji has already been shown. Right. It's a picture of a fire camp. A fire and a dog. Yeah, a golden retriever. What is it? Anyone knows? The Please answer? raise your hand. Let's raise your hand or Come type on. it on chat oh, box. There we are. Okay. 
We're having a, everyone is very enthusiastic <laughs> to uh, answer the game. Okay. Okay, hello there. Hello? Well, hello there. Are you in Moscow? <laughs> oh, me? Oh, I thought the, the person. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the phrase, uh, the word technically is hot dog because it's a campfire and a dog. So, uh, sorry? Come again, please? Oh, hold on. Uh, hot dog because it's a oh, campfire, which is hot, hot dog, how you? and a dog, a golden retriever. All hot right. Dog. The answer is hot dog. dog. Is it correct, Pierre? Yep. What? Yeah. It's correct. Congratulations. Congratulations. We got the second winner yeah. of this game. I am in Wait, sorry. What's your name? We were so oh, excited yeah. that we forgot it to renamed ask itself. Uh, Ananda Abdullah. Sorry, come again. Ananda Abdullah. Oh, Ananda oh, Abdullah. Ananda. Oh, okay. Ananda Abdullah, far away from Moscow. Okay. <laughs> the Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, we have Pak Yuka, we have Ananda Abdullah. Now, the third sure. question. It's a picture of what, Pierre? An umbrella. An umbrella. And a butterfly. And then a butterfly? Is it a butterfly or a bow? Uh, maybe a butterfly. Yeah, okay. Anyone knows the answer? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry the for the committee cannot also, answer it. Yeah, the committee is very enthusiastic to answer. <laughs> come on participants, come on students. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy up here. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Uh, we have participants who has raised their hands. Okay. If you. Okay, hello okay, there. Hello. Can you tell us your name oh. and where oh. are you from? Yeah. Your school? Uh, well, my name is. Um, my name is Stephen Sepuaga, and I'm from Papua. Uh, and now I'm go I'm going to I'm go to Saint Kabo Pridua Yogyakarta. I'm a student from Saint Kabo Pridua Yogyakarta. I'm sorry, please. Come can you there. repeat? Yeah. Can you say what's the answer? Um. The answer is umbrella. It's rainbow. The answer is rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, oh rainbow. Okay, Rivan. Yeah, I'm sorry, committee. Do not clap yet. <laughs> we have so, got the answer. <laughs> the answer is operator, please. Yeah. Yes, okay. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congratulations, Rifan, to answer the last question now of the games. Yeah, so we have Payuka. We have Ananda. We have Ananda, and then we have. Rifan, congratulations for all winners of mini games. Congratulations once more, and you will be contacted by our committee shortly. The second mini game is sponsored by Kipin, digital solution for all schools in Indonesia. Smart, Smart school, school solution, solution for, for your school. school. Okay, now, friends, I'm sure. These contestants already waiting for their turn to show their performance. Now, now the second contest would be drum roll, please, Pierre. Pomatography contest. Sunflowers. We were once sunflowers, as cloudless as yellow. Even the birds would chirp in joy. Now all the sky can hear is just the wretched echo of a sunflower. Hi, and how are you? As always, how the messages start. 
and hope to hear back from you is always how they end. Countless paragraphs written day and night are not even worthy of scribing their memories together or all the silly quotes Since the day I long my bed in black shall empty no more, no moment thenceforth for woman, only dear, to have never more this life next with all. At a time me lies the void and pain, not a friend nor parent may lay, but a lady beloved, spouse the mind and heart may confide, the bosom solace and warmth of my family may provide. Alas, are I the people hence gone, sin sought and impel, vice venerable and hot, our soul degrade is lecherous in sight, mind they lost but devilish artifice, mass and money, sex, free love advertise. Marriage foregone, sacred bond and I, left rather self delight, mind and mine own desire, own arrogant others disregard, fantasy vindicate what once most certain a shame. But lo, an unexempt consequence, how thus that action turn, being by the day distract, body mar with every body mar, society flicked as virtue miss, and unable such to find, petty this present how complicate, love confused with lust mistook. But then, the chance the day approach, love may restore, relation revert time past alike, people realize with grave mistake, return when loyal kept as forever thou, remain even when period disfavor, and now reserve.
I come looking for brightness, looking for word with many calls, chasing it with hopefulness and find a safe way without obstacles. My life becomes easy with technology. With this convenience, I must open my eyes since it is a prison. Be grateful and be prepared because this pleasure is a curse wielding a double-edged sword. If you let your guard down, you take the consequences. It is not just about technology. Without awareness of which way the wine is blowing, it's all technology. Yes, I'm in tears. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Type it in the chat box so we know what you feel about it. And yeah, before we moving on to the next session, let's hear some feedback from Papa Ignatius III and Darto MA. To Papa Ignatius, the screen is yours. Thank you and good morning everyone, good morning contestants and the audience. Uh, I would like first of all to congratulate all the contestants, yeah. Uh, not only poematography but also the other the other uh, contests, yeah. But uh, for the poematography, uh, first of all I think that all the contestants have presented very well in their poems, yeah. and. Um, I would also like to mention that they have had, you know, good poem because they 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 could ex uh, creatively presented their their message in their poem and then uh, they could creatively wrap the words with uh, you know good background music and also uh, creative visualization and after all, I think poems are dancing words, right? And uh, like. Muhammad Ali on the ring, uh, the kind of thing that I see from the participants is that, is that uh, they could present themselves on the video like what we have seen and um, they could sort of dance yeah, with, with their words and then with the emotions, they could successfully evoke our emotions and then they could uh, deliver the messages quite well. Yeah. However, uh, there are some uh, suggestions that I would like to mention related to the topics. So uh, I think most of the contestants, they have aligned the poems, the contents of the poems quite well with the topics, but um, there is one criterion related to the adaptation of the poem from a book. So uh, if you guys read the criteria that we have for the poematography, uh, judging. So, so we can we see that one, one of the criteria, criteria is that they're going to have to base the poem from the book that they read because we try to promote reading literacy. Yeah. So uh, maybe uh, in the next Duta Wacana English competition, maybe next year, yeah, uh, for uh, 
any one of you who would like to join the poematography or maybe for your junior juniors yeah if you would like to join the poematography competition you can focus your poem content based on the books that you read can it can be a novel it can be uh, any other books yeah any other books so books that inspire you and then uh, based on uh, you know the inspiration from the book you can develop a poem maybe you can you can you can adapt it from the point of view of one of the characters maybe in the story of the book that you read and then uh, you demonstrate you you recite the poem in the point of view of the character as if you are the character and then of course uh, the lines the the, the wording the, the sentences and you know the figures of speech that you use uh, have to be based on your own creativity yeah? but the content uh, it's better if you make it based on a certain book that you have read yeah it has to be inspired by a book that you read yeah but overall uh, i would like to say that all of you have presented well in that in that poematography yeah and poematography because it's a video version of of poems so in addition to your skill in in using the words in dancing with the words you also have very good skills with you know editing right with uh, cinematography and also in choosing the the visuals of the of the video that uh, could help to deliver the content of your poems so yeah uh, i believe that every one of the contestants they are winners yeah all of them are winners but then of course we're gonna have to wait for um you know the the announced winners yeah number one number two and number three and i don't know whether we have any any other kind of winner uh let's wait yeah for the next uh, announcement thank you very much for the committee okay thank you so much bapak endarto all right as pak endarto said here everyone's a winner but this is a competition, so there will be the official winners. <laughs> yes, here. yeah, there will be yeah, some winners. That's right. And of course, remember what Pak Indar said. The next time you joined Pomatography for uh, Duta Wacana English competition or for your juniors, don't forget. Try to find the, um, uh, what is it? Uh, the source, the inspiration from your book and so that if it can be relate to you, if you can relate to the book, you can relate to the poem that you read, uh, that you read, you write and read, so you can express it well. Yes, yes. And, and not and only book, right? right? You can find it on like YouTube, maybe oh, of like most videos. That's right, because technology. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Papa Endarto. All right. We've, We've seen, seen story and we, and we also, also have, have seen pomatography. And, and what's, what's next? next? Kayo, can you, can you tell, tell me, me what will be? Hmm, what, what is it here? Oh, you, you do not? I know, <laughs> but are you, do you <laughs> know, Franz? Can anyone, can anyone in the in Zoom, Zoom meeting, meeting tell us? us? Yes, yes, maybe, maybe if you, you know, know that, 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 that it's gonna be speech, speech, speech. Get ready to sail. Here is the speech contest. COVID-19. is a virus. Yes, everyone knows that. COVID-19 killed thousands, millions of lives out there. It caused economic inflation and financial fragility. COVID-19 lockdown weakens abilities to function. Not to mention schools, place that no matter what, never shut down, were closed for two years. But have you ever wondered how this virus could cause such magnificent impact on our society my topic today is how 
opportunity would create creative thinking in the era of technology. My name is Ashley Kristabo Gunadi from SMK Tisadi Pamkara Vocational High School. And today I will be delivering my speech. We had experienced the world of emptiness for a solid two years. Emptiness with no social interaction physically with friends or people, which causes a lack of connection and co- and of course impacted our daily life. Many small businesses collapsed and any place for economic growth was shut down, such as malls or markets. People were biting their fingers, pacing and thinking and worrying about how they could manage to live, even at this point. Imagine being used to working all day and night to afford daily needs, not just for your belly, but for your whole family at home. Then one day, your boss came up to you and said, you did a great job, but we can't seem to pay you further because of this COVID-19 crisis. You're looking at your kid who's just got to school and, and thinking, will my kid has any future? While well, some fighting the, this virus to live, some was fighting debt and financial crisis. Looking back at these times makes me wonder, were there opportunities? People seem to find great solutions to this massive issue. And that is what we call technology. School were replaced by online classes. Students are able to access many sources on the internet for their education. And of course, their teachers were there via online meetings. Small businesses or markets in general started to evolve into online businesses. Here in Indonesia, Gojek or Grab were used to reduce physical contact. Social media was used to spread information regarding COVID-19 virus and includes preventive tips for us. Also, with the help of technology, people invented successful COVID-19 vaccines to prevent contagion of COVID. We, as young generation, we as young people need to take this as a life example. We tend to give up and say, you know what? There's nothing we can do. There's no such thing as bright side and I might as well just give up and let the earth decide. Sometimes we are preoccupied with issues in our lives. We're too focused on the problem and forget what step should we take next. It has been proven by COVID-19. This pandemic is not always bad. It gives us lesson and it has been proven by COVID-19. There will be no such thing as creative thoughts from people, from you, from me, on figuring out how to adapt in this new situation. Don't let any cage, anything cage us from creativity. Enhance technology with innovative ideas and seek for opportunities in every situation. Because as they say, Creativity is the key to every problem. That is all from me. Thank you and good afternoon. As the world advances, it is no joke that people can't live without the assistance of technologies. Can you imagine your life without the assistance of internet? 
internet eases us from accessing anything without taking too much time. Hello, my name is Stephanie and I'm here to tell you about how technologies correlate to our life and that opens up so many opportunities for humans. So many, so many technologies have been invented to fulfill everyone's needs. But um, with all of this growth, it doesn't stop us humans from questioning all of the nature around us. Curiosity leads one to another, making us creative enough to problem solve things. And then these new creations begin to, begin to become technologies and then it opens up large opportunities for people around the world. Being creative is just human nature since we are blessed with common sense. Many invented things that have been found are still relevant until now and even impactful that it derives us from, from coming up with new things. Mr. Newton got his head hit by the apple and got his first finding of gravity. Then his theories became big and are used everywhere around the world. For example, nowadays engineers are using the Newton's laws to navigate space travel and then simulate um, car collisions to improve safety measures. Maybe simulating car collisions can be hard to imagine, but now let's check your social media. Do the posts you see relevant? If so, do you know that the algorithm plays the role behind that? Actually, the work of the algorithm is based on algebra, and the algebra is found by Mr. Alkwarizmi. Look around us. Maybe if Mr. Newton didn't discover how gravity works, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have so many civil engineers around us working like this. Maybe if Mr. Alkwarizmi didn't didn't publish his algebra theories, we wouldn't have social media to entertain us. With all of these discoveries occurring and existing, the fields needed are getting specified and varied. And since and since it's get uh, it's getting varied and specified, it opens up large opportunities for people where they will have more jobs. To apply for. To conclude, um, to conclude, we all live in a world where we know where we don't know that it evolves and somehow change. Many people, out of curiosity, question things and then develop them into discoveries that change how humans think. And then these new technologies have a big impact for us and even open large opportunities for humans thank you let it go let it go about nine years ago almost all my primary school classmates sang it i mean who doesn't know frozen but did you know that behind this impressive frozen animation there is a visual development artist from indonesia named griselda sastrawinata in fact, not only Frozen, she also illustrated several Hollywood animated films such as Moana and Kung Fu Panda 2. It's pretty cool, isn't it? This is truly proof that creativity combined with technology has a significant role in opening doors of opportunities in our future career. Respectable judges, committees, ladies and gentlemen, the demands of 21st century life require us to be more creative and flexible than our past generation. In fact, by widening the possibilities and automating the part of the creative process, we can reach better productivity level. Now, the doors of opportunities are likely more open to us. We can choose to be a musician, an illustrator, a designer, a comic artist, or whatever we want to be. Since we're born as digital natives, armed with powerful technology, and creativity will become the key that leads us to find our future paths. However, like the opportunities, challenges can also be present at any time which can block or even turn us in this digital revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, the era of technology has changed our mindset in different ways, and one of the most commonly asked questions is how technology affects our creativity. The truth is that technology and creativity complement each other, enabling us to become more dynamic. 
Anyone can be creative, but chances has always played a big role in life success. In fact, history is full of examples of missed opportunities because of lack of information. Certainly today, Darwin would need to embark on a five-year voyage to inspect the finches of the Galapagos. A plan to get would do. He could also shorten the gap between hypothesis and theory through a computer. Clearly, technology has transformed human experience. We're no longer separated by time and space. This term to develop human knowledge is merely a few clicks away. All sorts of information are no longer hidden behind barriers of circumstance or traditions, but are accessible to anyone with a search engine. As we become more technological society, we also become a more creative society. What's more, in this post-pandemic era, technology increases our potential to engage in the kinds of experiences to, that lead to greater opportunities. But how to implement all this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, in the previous pandemic era, we were required to use technology in all aspects of our lives. Even in this post-pandemic era, of course, we're still filled with the use of technology that concerns various aspects. And as I said before, technology increases our potential to engage in, the, in opportunities that can lead to greater creativity, such as, first, harness and nurture talents through social media. Well, we all surely already know the song I Love You 3000 by Stephanie Poetry, which was trending a few years ago. She admitted that she uploaded the song on YouTube because she only wanted to channel her singing talent. And unexpectedly, the song went viral on social media. Till now, it has reached 1 for 2 million views. Now, what can we do as students? Well, we can optimize technology to channel our creativity, such as writing blogs, photography, opening podcasts, editing creative videos, and so on. Moreover, if we can develop our skills in a creative business, we can earn a lot from that. How nice it is to get paid from what you enjoy. Second, invent or innovate. Technology provides us with tons of opportunities to channel our creativity in this digital age. And my friends have done that. They joined a scientific writing community at school and made a device called Dr. Co. It converts carbon dioxide into oxygen that reduces the amount of carbon dioxide emissions that have a serious impact on the respiratory health of living beings. Well, that was truly an amazing invention, as well as evidence that technology and creativity can solve problems in other sectors, such as the environment. Like my friend, with technology, we can also help solve issues surrounding us with our best creative innovations. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that technology brings about changes is nothing new. But the key to staying ahead and participating in the creation of the future is optimizing technology with our creativity. We need to embrace our creativity, as it will provide a new and different way for us to look at the different challenges and opportunities. Technology presents us with great possibilities, and creativity leads us to a miraculous action. And I'm Fanisa. Thank you. A warm greeting to everyone present here in this very room. My name is Christophorus Brahmananda Setiawan. I am from SMA Bapukri 1, Yogyakarta. I am currently in grade 12. Today, I am here to talk about technology and how it has gifted us with various innovations and obstacles that come with it. Have you ever wondered what technology is exactly? Well, well, technology is defined as the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes. Well, we as human beings are completely dependent on technology. We have used technology in every single aspect of our lives, starting from offices, schools, communications, and much more. Our lives have been more comfortable due to technology. And we are in a much better and comfortable position than as compared to all our older generations. This is possible because of scientific advancements, everything in the field of technology. Well, it has also led to invention of the internet that you use all the time. We can search anything, anywhere from the comfort of our own homes. Well, behind the convenience and the easy use of modern technology, 
a lurking danger has come to follow us in our daily lives. Well, the effects of technology expands more than just convenience. As we become more advanced, right, humans will become spoiled with te technology. We will reach a certain pattern in advancements that we will 100% rely solely on technology. So, the effects of overdependency will be catastrophic to our race, the human race. Human society will collapse if all supporting technology that comes with it fails. And in the worst case scenario, it could also lead to our extinction. Well, but as humans, we know we will learn to strive. We will learn to live with technology without being leashed to it. We need to control our dependency on our modern technology. Both humans and technology have been a symbiotic relationship for a long time. It has given us advancement, power, peace, and love. We will be stronger with technology, not weaker not the opposite. For the better of our past, our present, and our future. For our grandchildren and everyone that lives on tomorrow. And to close this speech, I will present to you a quote by Christian Lou Lange. Technology is a useful servant, but a dangerous master. And that is all I have to say about today's topic. Thank you for lending me your ears. Good day. Innovation is the ability to see change as an opportunity, not a threat. A fabulous quote by the founder of Apple company, Steve Jobs. Innovation is part of implementation of creativity, there is an introduction of a new idea. It means that creativity can be an instrument to make a change. However, every hour, every minute, and every second of our life is an opportunity. And one critical thing, there is nothing more expensive than a missed opportunity. Now, what do you guys think when you hear about the biggest opportunity in this modern industry era? In my humble opinion, Technology are the most effective means to deal with it. Before I go further, opportunity here does not always talk about money, money, and money. More than that, technology can lead us to get a better life. At the present moment, there is one big issue that related to our life. That is garbage. Back in 2021, Indonesia alone produced 21.88 million tons of waste. Such a surprising number. And this issue sparks me fallen as a student from SMA Negeri Tiga Yogyakarta to discuss how technology enables creativity to build opportunities to make the world as a better place. Technology and application of knowledge is aimed to achieve a particular objective, something like problem solving. As it is massively used in industry, communication, medicine, and many other fields, it feels promising for me to trust the technology today to create a better future of having clean environment. Don't get wrong, I do not point that our government with the people haven't done any action to deal with this garbage issue. Crucially, by the help of technology, I am more confident to state that the movement can be done more effective, efficient, massive, and inclusive. Here's the thought. First, technology applied in tool or instrument. Back in the past, people were collected the waste manually, even in Jakarta. The governor instructed the human force to collect the waste in the river, literally using their hands and conventional tools. 
Then, what's the idea? Let's take a look at an example of a little trap technology to block the waste captured in the river using a barrier called boom. Introduced by a non-profit organization named Clear Rivers in Europe. The amazing part of this little trap technology is it can retrieve an average of 1.5 meter square floating litter a week. Indonesia absolutely needs such little trap technology. The second one, with the power of machinery, technology in the past contributed the enormous of number of rabbits in the name of practical wrapper and food container. With a similar product function, recent food technology creatively produced an encouraging product that can be impactful to reduce the number of waste. It's an edible wrapper, a packaging product from Infoware, for instance. Infoware can rethink and replace the single use of plastic. And who doesn't like boba? But when it comes to straw, it's always made of plastic. Infoware make a straw made from rice, an incredible idea motivating young people to start their own creativity. Great, isn't it? Um, Valen, do you have any simple ideas? Because I want to take part in rescuing this world, but I don't think I can do that kind of brilliant stuff. Hmm. I have one solution that will help our society, and you can do it from home. The next technology is with software base. There is an app, application. Only with a single touch, you can contribute yourself in saving this planet. One great example employed in Semarang and Yogyakarta is Rappel app that buys non-genic litter with a selling value. Collect the litter, market it in app, and wait for the prospective buyer. Then the buyer picks up the litter and hands you some amount of money. Simple right? Before I end this speech, I would like to highlight that if you have abundant ideas, you can channel them to create such technology application in tools, machinery, or software. But then, if you have think you have a limitation in producing, you can still be the doer. Use the technology. Any creative ideas in applying technology can be affecting our country, even the world, no matter how big or how small it is. Hence, if one technology can be applied in solving one problem, I do believe that by maximizing our creativity in using technology, there are more opportunities to solve other problems in this world. Today is the opportunity to build the tomorrow you desire. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The honorable jury of the speech contest and the commenters of this event, good morning. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Rizwanan Abiyas. I'm from SMA AN 1 Baru Tapan. It's been a pleasure for me to attend at this event. Before I begin my speech, I would like to thank Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the Almighty, who has given us blessing and mercy, so we can gather in this great place. I would also like to thank the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who has guided us from darkness into lightness. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's occasion, I want to talk about technology, which has taken a tremendous role in our life. We are living in a generation where our life is dependent on technology. We have used technology in every aspect of our life, studying from household needs, entertainment, schools, and offices. The evolution of technology has made it possible to achieve lots of things conveniently in pure times. Ladies and gentlemen, technology has given us tools and machines to solve problems. Technology comes in the form of tangible and intangible properties. The example of tangible properties are smartphones, tablets, laptops, and even the camera that I'm using right now is entangled. And the network connection used by these devices is entangled. That means technology has many several inventions that many people can access to solve problems and will always modify and upgrade by passing year. One of the biggest innovations of technology is the internet that has impacted many people. The internet is where you can do and access many things Everything is available on the screen at our fingertips. Starting from buying things online, communicating with another person, scrolling through social media, and doing online transaction on the phone. All have, been, have, all have been possible due to this invention. This innovation has made our lives more comfortable because everything can be done easily from our home. This, this, these technologies have not helped us 
in the digital platform, but also have given us innovation in the field of medical and educational. Why is that? Well, as we can see, people nowadays can learn and improve themselves through the use of communication technology, because communication technology provides many sources of knowledge. The innovation of technology helps especially many students to study. For instance, on the internet, you can learn something by watching an, an educational YouTube video on YouTube or searching for something on Google for, to help you with an excitement. And technology helps many scientists and doctors from all around the world to cure and treat many diseases. Further, the innovation of technology gives benefits for all ages quickly. This innovation won't exist without the creativity of human brain. All shapes of technology and innovation throughout many years, it's all from creativity. We, as a human being, should adjust to a creative lifestyle because creativity, creativity allows us to solve problems more openly. We can even improve our skills by using an advanced technology. Many people have used technology to increase their creative skills as well as to achieve bigger job opportunities. Yes, I also mentioned before that technology is used in many offices, which means technology is a source of many jobs. For example, you can be a data analyst, software developer, an engineer, or anything else. In fact, these jobs are highly in demand in the future, and all need technology. In conclusion, technology is very important in our life, and it has changed our life very magnificently. Without the existence of technology, our life wouldn't be easy as easy as now. However, even though our lives rely on technology, we must use it very wisely and productively. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of my speech. I hope that we can learn something from what I do for today. Thanks for your kind attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. There are about 7.7 .7 billion people in the world, and each of us contains our own unique thoughts and opinions. Is the glass half full or half empty? Is the dress blue and black or white and gold? Most of us will have different answers. And just imagine if all 7.7 .7 billion of us can contribute our creativity and diverse ideas to develop the world we live in by striving for a better future and thriving in this new era where we explore the limitless possibilities and wonders of the what-ifs. Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa Chitaro Salim from Sampurna Karmi Medan. And today, as a fellow youth myself, I would like to explain all about how we can embrace this generation's creativity to make our future era even brighter than before. But did you know creativity is actually our mind's greatest weapon? That's because it not only benefits ourselves, but also to the society and our future. Since innovative thinking um, allows more fresh ideas and unique approaches to life, it will lead to helpful creations or improvements along the way, which can in turn help increase the society's productivity and economy. Not only that, but some of those creations may even be beneficial to others. If the Wright brothers never pursued their imaginations, airplanes would have never been built. If Leonardo da Vinci never painted the Mona Lisa, we would have never been blessed with such an amazing masterpiece. So as you can see, our future greatly depends on how we collaborate and make use of our creativity to improve all our lives for the better. Now, here comes the best part. Thanks to the technological advancements that we have today, creativity is so much more achievable than before. That's because technology provides us with research, assistance, and even inspiration for all our innovative endeavors. So it would be such a shame if we don't use it to reach our fullest creative potential. But unfortunately, in reality, most of us still underestimate its benefits. 
and I used to be one of them. Until we finally had to face probably one of the hardest projects yet. It happened while I was in primary 6, when our school decided to host an open house. Now, our science teacher wanted us to create a project that would discuss about the topic of the reproductive system so that the project can be displayed during the event. Now, our team wanted to win. So, we decided to create a digital game where the sperm cells can battle one another so that only one can finally reach the egg cell. And let me tell you, creating a game is incredibly difficult. But thanks to the power of the Kado Game Lab application and YouTube tutorials, we finally did it! And in the event, it became such a huge hit that many people visited our booth just to play it. But what I didn't anticipate was the benefit that it can have on others. After the event, one of the younger students came up to us and told us how our project helped them understand a really difficult science topic. And that was when the realization hit me, that creativity is so essential to develop the future so that it can be a place for the next generation to live in a world that is more convenient, open, and accessible to them. And that technology greatly helps in achieving that dream. And this is something that we should never ever forget. Creativity truly is the most powerful weapon that we can have to face the new era that lays in the palms of our hands. So let us always celebrate and enhance our special minds that are filled with endless imaginations. With all 7.7 billion of us working together, I truly believe that our future can achieve great things indeed. So here's a toast to a new era of limitless creativity and innovation for all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Anand Abdullah from Homeschooling High Spaghetti. I'm here to talk to you about bombs. No, not the explosive kind, the environmental friendly kind. You may be wondering, what in the heck is an environmental friendly bomb? Imagine seeds, seeds inside a bomb. Seed bombs are cone shaped planters that have saplings rooted inside soil that's wrapped in leaves and packed inside a biodegradable container. But it looks like a cone, like an ice cream cone. The common way to plant them is by dropping them from a high altitude and dropping them really fast at a high pace using planes. Kinetic energy that is generated from the freefall will make it impact the ground at 321 kilometers per hour. That's 200 miles and opposition to bury themselves. As if they were planted by hand, hand planting. So it will be the same thing but without the human planting. They will then spend the next five years growing into a healthy tree that will hopefully dampen the effect of global warming. In July of 2013, Thailand has started a five-year pilot project that utilizes aerial reforestation technology. Local seeds such as Fayang's Makamong's Kabox were dropped in order to restore a wildlife sanctuary in the Fitsanulok province, transforming into a healthy green forest by 2017. That's proof right there. The example that I've told you about, as in Thailand with a project, is one of the many reasons of why we should implement that idea in Indonesia where there are multiple cases of illegal logging and a lot of forest fires that is happening in Borneo and Riau. It is more cost effective to use those um, planes to drop a thousand plus trees rather than hand planting and using manual labor. Dire situations in Indonesia such as illegal logging 
must get more attention so that the government will deal with those things. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dean Kamen, an expert in technology, said once in a while a new technology, a new problems, and a big idea turn into an innovation. Sophisticated technology is in our hand. It can build our creativity and bring us to a big opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dahayunayi Nasal Sabila from Wen Yogyakarta Senior High School and today I'm going to talk about how technology can build our creativity and uh, make a big opportunity. We are in a generation where technology has surrounded us from all sides. Our daily life runs on the use of technology. For the example, we use our handphone every day to communicate with other people, to work, to study, and to do a lot of things. Technology has been an important part to our daily life. Our life has been easier, faster, and more comfortable due to the use of technology. If we use technology smartly, it can give many beneficial effects. Two of them are our creativity and opportunity. We are no longer separated by time and space. It's much easier for people to meet and collaborate. Not only that, the sum of human knowledge is merely few clicks away. With technology, we are able constantly to find a things and discover new information that we haven't known before. We can improve our creativity by reading a lot of information and watching a video. We can also take a video sharing about our creativity, uh, for the example, in cooking, in dancing, in singing, promoting our local culture and tourism, and many more uh, using the video's camera, and then editing the videos on the computer and post them online. Then, creativity can bring us to huge opportunity. Our creativity leads into an innovation. Innovation comes with new opportunity that were not available before. A creative person can develop a new skill that may open up for a new opportunity. One, sellers sell their product traditionally, but due to their creativity, they can promote their products using technology and then they post them in the internet. Then, they can get more opportunity to sell their product, even get more investment and networking. As to them, we can use technology to build up our creativity and opportunity. We can be more creative in presenting our presentation, do our public speaking, and uh, many more. We can get an we can get more opportunity to build up a networking with local, national, or even international students to share a positive things about our, about our hobbies and our lessons. We can also join an online webinar to upgrade ourselves. And if we are lucky, we can get scholarship for our study. So guys, if we use technology smartly, it can build up our creativity and bring us to a big opportunity. So that's all for me. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to open my speech by using quote from Albert Einstein. It has become appallingly obvious that our technology has exceeded our humanity. Meaning that technology has come to serve us too well. That made us become spoiled. On this day, I feel restless. 
where at this time technology really seemed to make us to be spoiled people. Get distanced by our relative and one click on our phone. The food that we want come to us. And wherever we want to go, just one click on our phones. Then someone gonna pick us up to the place that we want. First of all, when we have an assignment from our teacher, we already got the study material that we can learn from it. But we don't see it sometimes. And we just make the easy way. What is it? The, yeah, the Google search. We became lazy and just searched the assignment answer on the Google. And not really trying to learn or checking about the assignment that our teacher already gave to us. Phone really make us addicted after the pandemic. You're only using phone right now. Could you remember the previous day before the pandemic when we met our friends, the thing that mostly we do is sharing with them, having a chit chat, talking about something interesting. Maybe about the sports, music, or it could be m the movie, or we could play a card game, like the Uno card, or poker with our friends. We can also play the truth or dare, to make a lot of fun together and not using the phone oftenly. But right now, in this time, after the pandemic, when we are met, our friends, now it's like, we often, we more focus on our phones. When we are having a chit chat, we still focus on our phones and keep paying attention to this thing. Even we are doing something fun with our friends. Nowadays, we could buy the food we want easily. We can buy the food by the online food shop, like the Shopee food. Go food or grab food. Those apps are made you buy food easily. In other side, it make us to be spoiled people because when we could buy the food by our own self, we could interact to other people. But when we use these apps, it make us being spend money unnecessary that we tend to buy everything without a control. Yes, we know that technology is helpful. We should take a countermeasure into what far. We would use technology and surely wise, surely use it wisely. So I suggest you to, to use technology wisely. If you can meet your friends, use your time to meet them, rather only by chat. Avoid using phone when you meet them and last keep in mind that every promo in Shopee, Gojek or Grab is not necessary to be bought. Only buy what you need not buy what you see. Be a good friends with the technology and not be enslaved by technology. Thank you. from Tumbu High School and today I will be talking to you about technology, creativity and opportunity. Technology is a study in engineering and scientific knowledge which helps to boost our quality of life by making it easier and more practical. This includes gadgets, utensils and the internet, a platform in which most of our world's population rely on to communicate with other people from far, far distances without having to meet them personally. Technology itself has made massive impact to society nowadays. We can take trends as an example. Trends divert interests and ideas for a period of time. Now, based on what we know about technology and the internet, 
we know that it is a great space for people, students specifically, to showcase their talents, ideas, creations, and it is also the main study field for students. Now, I want you to take a look around you. Have you realized how easy and convenient everything is now? Let's take uh, cooking or food, food for example. When was the last time you had to get in your car, drive all the way to your favorite restaurant, place in an order, wait for 30 minutes or more, pick up the order and drive back? That is so unnecessary now because all you need is your phone, an internet connection, and your money at the ready to pay. This is also, the internet and technology has also been a great help during the beginning of the pandemic in education, for instance. We were unable, for so many months, we were unable to get into class and study offline in person. So, we had no choice but to, but to take classes online. Instead of the traditional assignments on pen and paper, we carried out our assignments through digitally, whilst communicating with our teachers and peers with Zoom, Google Meet, WhatsApp, and many, many other communication platforms. A lot of people of our older generation would find this to be almost concerning. I'm sure you've heard plenty of times from your grandparents um, reminding you of the extensive amount of time that you spend going on your phone. And I guess I do understand them sometimes because we've become so naturally dependent on our technology devices, on our phones. But I do think that the positives weigh out the negatives because technology has opened up endless possibilities and opportunities for people of all ages. It is a great place for people with ambition and people who long and strive for their creativity to showcase that, as I've mentioned previously. So, in conclusion, I think that there are a few positives and negative sides to the vast development of technology. But I do think that if we keep steering in the right direction, it could benefit us all for the future. Thank you. To the honorable judges and those of you who are watching, good day everyone. My name is Argeshi Panyarvasita from SMA One Study. And today, I have the opportunity to present to you all a brief speech that I made for this year's Tutawachana English competition. This year's theme, Technology, Creativity, and Opportunity. It has come as no surprise that our generation is the generation to have the closest link with technology. With the rapid development of technology in a modern age, our livelihoods have become inseparable from it. From the start of the day to the very end, we are constantly exposed with technology. In this new modern age, technology has made our lives incredibly fast paced. It connects us to the World Wide Web, the internet, where everything that we could ever want would be at the tips of our fingers. Knowing this, it is only smart for us to take advantage of it. One of the many important aspects of a person, in my personal opinion, would be their creativity. Creativity means the opportunity to create something fascinating and new, a product of passion from one's mind. Like, say, a hobby. Everyone has a hobby, right? You have a hobby, right? It could be anything. Singing, writing, dancing, pretty much anything. And all of those are creative activities that stem from passion. What better way to channel passion and hobbies than through technology? Perhaps you enjoy cooking. Why not find fun recipes online to try out? Or share your own recipes with the rest of the world? Social media is a good place for that. Or maybe you can even learn from a professional from an online class. There are plenty of sites that offer those kinds of things. Or perhaps you enjoy gardening, planting, growing, and taking care of plants. Finding the tools and resources aren't hard at all. 
you can simply go to an online shop and search the internet for that. Maybe you can even grow your own special kinds of plants and turn it into a business and even make a profit. Or perhaps you're even searching for a new hobby yourself. There's tons to try out. Dancing, coding, painting, you name it, there's probably a class for it. And learning the basics is as easy as typing into a search engine and clicking enter. Can you imagine all of that information at the click of a button? Actually, you don't even need to imagine that. This is the reality of our generation, living in the 21st century. It's time you realize that the small devices in our hands, our phones, are but windows to a large and open world. One final thing I have to say is that as a generation with such amazing resources and such great opportunities, wouldn't it be a shame if we were to waste all that with pointless activities? That is all I have for you all today. Thank you for your time and attention. Rapunzel, our golden blonde lost princess, with a strong companion, the scow, personality, and even stronger pan. From the hit song, When Will My Life Begin? We get a glimpse into our daily routine, starting with 7 a.m. the usual morning line up. Starting the chores and sweep till the floor is all clean, and so on. I'm not a singer, so please spare me on that regard. But she also mentions about painting, reading, knitting, paper mache, a bit of ballet, and chess. But what she doesn't mention is anything tech related. In contrast to the world where we live in, where technology is a staple in all our daily routines. Even now, we're conducting competitions through the means of technology. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, though. Technology has increased the opportunities that we can reach and also the endless amount of creativity that the world we live in already has. If Rapunzel had access to technology, she would have escaped the tower way sooner. But that wouldn't have made the movie very interesting, would it? The difference is, we're not in a movie. Technology is one of the greatest assets of our time. It has opened up a whole new world of possibilities. This is because technology allows us to read more books, more articles, watch movies, TV shows, videos, listen to podcasts, songs, audiobooks, and many, many more. It has educated us on a range of topics, starting from politics to pop culture. We learn, we teach, and we get inspired with waves of ideas through the internet every day. Learning has been made easier than ever, and now we have access to almost all of the world's information in the palm of our hands. 24-7, people around the world share their uncapped creativity in the internet. Their thoughts, experiences, ideas, which we can use to inspire creativity in one another. I've also had the great fortune of getting incredible opportunities with the help of technology. I've learned more about how to contribute to the world, such as who and where to donate to. An example of an organization I found online would be the World Wildlife Fund, or just simple practices that all of us can incorporate in our daily routines, like deleting our unnecessary emails to reduce our carbon footprint. I've also met tons of great people internationally with the help of technology, such as through speech, debate, or even business competitions. Another way I've met people from across the globe is through social media platforms, such as Discord. There are more available platforms, but Discord is the one that I personally find the most helpful and effective in looking for people with the same interests or similar interests as me and more. The app basically allows us to both join and create servers towards our liking. We can use tags such as our favorite game, singers, and the list goes on. We can also join a server just for chatting. We can communicate in the server through the means of text and calls. This allows us to easily share our opinions with one another and has helped many, including myself, understand viewpoints 
cultures and experiences that are just generally different from ours. This has helped expand my horizons and understand more about how the world works. Anyone can do this with the help of technology. We just need to know what opportunities to look for and how to pursue them. The main thing here that I want to tell you all is one step. To get out of our comfort zone. Talk to people. Network. Let the opportunities come to you. Next. Don't be lazy. Just because our current routine is comfortable and it doesn't mean that it's good for us. So, let us take full advantage of the technological world that we live in. Together, let us get creative and pursue the opportunities around us. Thank you. Wow, wow, such remarkable, remarkable speeches, speeches which, 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 which has, has already, already been, been performed by the participants today, today, right, Ayu? Right, right there. But, but I'm, I'm sure, sure that some of you might be wondering why your, why your work isn't shown. shown. We would like, we would to, like to express our, our deepest apology. Due to the time limit, we couldn't show all the participants' speeches. But don't worry, the judges have seen all your videos. And we, and we also, also uploaded, uploaded your videos, videos to our YouTube, to our YouTube channel, channel for, for others, others to see. To see. All, right. All right, let's hear let's some, some feedback, feedback from, from Ibu and Dang, Bu Francisca and Dang Lestari Ningsi and Bu. So Ibu and Dang, the screen is yours. Oh, thank you so much, Johnson. Is it difficult to pronounce my name? Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke. All right. Um, I'd like to congratulate you all, yeah, the speech contestants, for your um, great job, excellent job in your speech. Yeah, everybody did a great job. Um, we find the difficulties or challenges in what is it, scoring you all because everybody has uh, fulfilled all the requirements to have uh, the requirements for a good speech. When you are, you are delivering the speech. Okay. However, we agreed that some feedbacks should be given and one of the most obvious ones is the volume, volume quality, yeah, because this is a recorded speech, so you can always control everything beforehand. Um, some of your videos, we could not hear clearly your voice. We should uh, turn, um, what is it? Make the volume up, yeah, to make sure that we could hear your speech clearly. Right, and then, um, Please be more natural, yeah, yeah don't, don't read. read, do not memorize, because it's also obviously seen from the screen that you were reading something from your eyes, yeah, from uh, when, when, uh, when you focus on one spot, then um, it could be you were reading something, or when you memorize something, it also uh, can be seen clearly. Because in the middle of your speech, perhaps you forgot some things and then you paused for quite a long time to try to uh, remember again what you have memorized. And then um, the most, what is it? Uh, something that is uh, very important is the relevance to the theme of this contest or this uh, competition, which is the technology, creativity and opportunity. So try your best not to talk about something else yeah when for example in our all, all categories you are very you are great yeah in pronunciation and also in grammar accuracy in something else in fluency however when what you talked about are or was something not relevant to the theme that we would like you to to deliver the speech then it's like uh, we want you to, we want you a very uh, great bowl of soto, okay, the taste of soto, but then you gave us 
great tastes, good tastes of gado-gado, uh, for example. See? Yeah, that's about the relevance to the theme. And then the pace, don't be too fast, don't be too slow, just be more natural as if you were talking to someone because uh, when you are delivering a speech, you need to uh, build good rapport to the audience. And for the video here, the audience is the listener, someone who watch you and listen to you. For the grammar accuracy, I think it's quite good because we could uh, get what you mean, uh, the message from your speech. And time management, quite good, uh, between three to five minutes. Um, only some of you, uh, your speech uh, was longer than five minutes, but less than 5.30. Um, I think that's all what we can say about your performance. Once again, congratulations. And for the winners that will be announced later uh, by the uh, committee, congratulations and keep doing your work, uh, your good job, um, practicing English again and again and always, because if you don't use it, then you will lose it. Okay, thank you so much. That all, that all, that is all committee. Uh, back to Pierre or um, Hayu. Okay, thank you so much, Ma'am and Dang, for your feedback. So, friends, there you go. There are four things that you need to pay attention to when you join speech competition. First, the voice. You need to have a loud voice so that you can be heard. If you can, try to use an earphone or something that can help you to um, make your voice louder in the camera. And then there's also pace. Try to maintain a pace so that you can be understood. And then there's also eye contact. Nah, Mam Endang said that uh, earlier that eye contact is important. Don't look like you're reading from the script, right, Pierre? Right. It's important, right, in speech? Yeah. So, and then the last one is Stay in the topic. Don't go out of the topic. So you need to stay relevant. Okay, Pierre, I think we should take a break, right? Maybe. Maybe the participant could start, maybe. Yeah, it's already almost lunchtime. Yes. Yeah, so friends, before continuing to the next session, hint, hint, it's what we've been waiting for. So, so don't leave the, the Zoom, Zoom meeting just, just yet. We're, we're going, going to take, take a break. break. For those, those who wants to do prayer, prayer grab, grab some lunch, lunch please do. And, and we'll, we'll see you again, again in 11.35. 11 see you in a, in a bit. bit. This is Dutawacana Christian University. As the name suggests, Dutawacana means an ambassador of God's word. The university is called to serve the world by delivering academicians, teachers, or practitioners of English education with professionalism, global perspectives, and characters of true educators. The English Education Department was founded to answer that call. Having a global perspective and a local act. In this 21st century, English has become increasingly crucial for communication and competition. Due to the implementation of the Asian Economic Community in 2015, Indonesia has to respond to the demand for global competitive human resources. Therefore, a graduate of the English Education Department is expected and prepared to be a successful agent in this global competitive era. Accentuating Professionalism
Optimizing technology in future career. The embryo of the English Education Department of Tutawatana was the implementation of the present university scaled Introduction to College English, a non credited matriculation program for theology students and other credited in faculty English programs since 1999 by the English Language Training Center. Just like the students of the other departments of Tutawatana, the students of the English Education Department come from different regions in Indonesia. They all live in pluralism, harmony, and unity. I'm from North Sulawesi, Manado. I am from North Sumatra. I came from West Java. I'm from Via Papua. Kupang is Nusa Tenggara. Tom Tom Laki, Molukas. I'm from Muntilan. From North Borneo. Kelima Tawai. They are also given soft skills education by the university and empowering mentoring from their lecturers. Enlightening and fun activities enrich the students' lives. Another distinctive characteristic of the faculty is their experience in teaching English for specific purposes such as English for theology, English for medical students, and English for information technology. The faculty members of the English Education Department are graduates of reputable universities in Indonesia and abroad. They are competent in teaching with blended learning system, which combines various teaching methodologies with the applications of modern learning teaching technology. The networking and partnership of the English Education Department include national and global parties such as the Government Services, the National English Education Department Association, the Partner High Schools and Vocational Schools, Leadership Public School in Oakland, Presbyterian Church of the United States of America, Mennonite Central Committee, Church Missionary Service Australia, and the United Board for Christian Higher Education in Asia. The English Education Department of Tutawatana Christian University Educating Teachers Enhancing Professionalism Transformasi diri adalah panggilan bagi kaum muda. 
siap menjadi pribadi yang bermanfaat bagi dunia dan sesama adalah tujuan akhir. Mari memperoleh beasiswa dan mengalami transformasi diri menjadi pengajar bahasa Inggris untuk profesi tertentu, pengembang materi pembelajaran berbasis teknologi, dan pengembang program pelatihan bahasa Inggris. Menyambut era merdeka belajar, dosen kami mengelola pembelajaran dengan mengedepankan keunggulan di bidang teknologi pembelajaran, pendekatan komunikasi antar budaya, dan pembelajaran bahasa Inggris untuk tujuan khusus. Ada lebih dari 200 ribu kosa kata dalam bahasa Inggris. Hal ini mendorong Prodi BBI untuk membekali mahasiswa dengan ESP for Happy Lower in Context, sebuah mata kuliah yang membantu mereka mempelajari kosakata di berbagai bidang ilmu, seperti sains, teknologi, psikologi, dan pendidikan. Lewat mata kuliah ini, mereka akan lebih siap menghadapi teks-teks akademis, sehingga bisa menjadi pengguna bahasa Inggris yang lebih mahir dan percaya diri. Ini merupakan perwujudan dari salah satu nilai duta wacana, yaitu melakukan yang terbaik. Public speaking itu nggak bisa dihindari. Sudah pernah dengar kata glossophobia? Itu adalah fobia public speaking. Public speaking nggak hanya akan membantu studi dan kehidupan sosial kalian, tapi juga dapat memajukan karir. Public speaking akan membantu membangun kepercayaan diri dalam menjalin hubungan dengan orang-orang di seluruh dunia. Ketika kalian dapat berbicara, kalian dapat mempengaruhi orang. Dan ketika kalian dapat mempengaruhi orang, kalian dapat membantu mengubah dunia menjadi tempat yang lebih baik. Halo, pada kesempatan ini saya akan mengenalkan tentang English for Going Global, salah satu mata kuliah pilihan di PBI UKDW. Dalam masa globalisasi, uh, mahasiswa sebagai global citizen butuh menjalin komunikasi dengan people all over the world. Bisa Anda lihat di sini, jadi uh, mahasiswa akan menjalin komunikasi dengan mengenalkan uh, keunikan budaya dan adat masing-masing. Dengan mengimplementasikan itu, kita mencintai satu dengan yang lain, dan implementasi ini adalah obedience to God, ketaatan pada Allah. Together, we can serve the world, melayani dunia sama-sama, to make it a better place to live. Dalam mata kuliah Technology Enhanced Language Instruction, siswa diperkenalkan dengan berbagai website dan aplikasi seluler yang dipergunakan untuk memfasilitasi kegiatan pembelajaran bahasa Inggris. Dengan mengikuti mata kuliah ini, mahasiswa akan mampu merancang dan mengimplementasikan instruksi pembelajaran berbasis teknologi, baik itu website dan atau aplikasi seluler untuk memfasilitasi pembelajaran yang otentik. Kegiatan pembelajaran yang dilakukan mahasiswa pada mata kuliah ini merupakan perwujudan dari nilai inti keduta wacanaan, yaitu service to the world, melayani orang lain melalui pendidikan. Menjadi mahasiswa pendidikan bahasa Inggris di Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana adalah salah satu hal yang paling membahagiakan bagi saya. Karena di universitas ada empat nilai inti yaitu ketaatan kepada Tuhan, berjuang untuk keunggulan, berjalan dalam integritas, dan melayani dunia. Dalam pendidikan bahasa Inggris, saya dapat mengembangkan 4C, yaitu Collaboration, Creativity, Communication, dan Critical Thinking. Selama berkuliah di pendidikan bahasa Inggris, Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana, saya mendapatkan ilmu yang mungkin tidak bisa saya dapatkan di tempat lain. Dalam berkuliah di pendidikan bahasa Inggris, saya sangat bersyukur karena bisa menggunakan pembelajaran berbasis teknologi sebagai media pembelajaran yang bermanfaat dalam meningkatkan kemampuan akademik saya. Selama berkuliah di program studi pendidikan bahasa Inggris, saya melatih diri untuk lebih peka dan kritis dengan keadaan sekitar 
karena seorang mahasiswa adalah pencari ilmu yang suatu saat akan mengimplementasikan ilmu yang didapat ke dalam lingkungan masyarakat. Menjadi bagian dari Prodi Pendidikan Bahasa Inggris di Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana adalah suatu hal terbaik yang bisa saya dapatkan. Culture dari Prodi PBI ini mampu membantu saya untuk mengembangkan kemampuan saya untuk berkomunikasi dan berkolaborasi baik dengan teman, dosen, dan banyak pihak lain. Selain itu, saya juga dapat berlatih dan meningkatkan kreativitas dan pola pikir yang kritis untuk mendukung studi saya. Semua kegiatan pembelajaran disusun sedemikian rupa sehingga membantu saya untuk belajar dengan lebih baik. Menjadi bagian dari prodi ini juga memperluas peluang saya untuk mendapatkan pengalaman-pengalaman yang berharga, bahkan membuka peluang bagi saya untuk mendapatkan pengalaman mengajar lebih awal. Dengan pengalaman-pengalaman ini, saya dapat lebih belajar dan membangun kepercayaan diri saya untuk mempersiapkan karir saya di masa yang akan datang. Hal ini juga membantu saya untuk belajar memberikan yang terbaik dan untuk melayani sesama. Dengan mengedepankan pengembangan soft skills, kami percaya mahasiswa kami siap melayani dengan kasih masyarakat Indonesia yang plural. Bahkan mereka bisa mendunia. This is Dutawacana Christian University. As the name suggests, Dutawacana means an ambassador of God's Word. The university is called to serve the world by delivering academicians, teachers, or practitioners of English education with professionalism, global perspectives, and characters of true educators. The English Education Department was founded to answer that call. Having a global perspective and a local act. In this 21st century, English has become increasingly crucial for communication and competition. Due to the implementation of the Asian Economic Community in 2015, Indonesia has to respond to the demand for global competitive human resources. Therefore, a graduate of the English Education Department is expected and prepared to be a successful agent in this global competitive era. Accentuating Professionalism Sorry. Sorry. Okay, okay, once again. again. Story reading. Check. Pomatography. Of course, check. And spit. Check, besties. And the winner. Oh, no. I don't think it's announced yet. Yes. Yeah. Well, are you ready to know all the winners? First, let's applaud for all the contestants who have put their time and effort into making such amazing creations. Let's applause to the participants. Yeah, friends, whose heart is pounding here? I know I am. Are you nervous? 
wealthier to cut the tension? Let's announce the winners of today's, shall we? Shall we? Yes. yes. But first, Kahayu, yes. we would like to ask all the participants to open their camera. Please, for all the participants, open up your camera. Yes. So who knows? When, when we announce the winner, you might be the winner. Yeah, so we're going to see the winner's face. Okay, let's continue to the moment that we all have been waiting for. Woo! I'm so nervous here. <laughs> okay, for the first contest, story reading. The first winner for the most favorite video. Reset. Comes to... Muhammad Yasu Fadli from SMIN 88 Jakarta. Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah. Okay. For the third place. <laughs> Are you interested? The third place comes to Amaratul Akila from SMIN 1 Denpasar. Congratulations, Amaratul Akila. Unfortunately, uh, Amaratul Akila is not joining us in today's Zoom meeting. Yeah, so let's congratulate Amaratul Akila one more time. And the second place is. Marcela Fernanda dari SMAN Satu Gelagah Banyuwangi. Woo! Congratulations Marcela. Can we see your face? Oh, there you are Marcela. Congratulations. Congratulations. And the first winner for story reading contest. Right, yeah. Is is Putu Audrey from MIN Tua Kota Serang. Yeah, far away from Kota Serang, Putu Audrey as the first place. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. There you go. Those are the winners for story reading. Story reading. How and about the others, Pierre? Wow. We have to announce it. We have to announce, announce it. it. We have to. Okay. What's next, Kayu? The next one is. Pomatography, right. The winner for the most favorite video goes to Nathaniel Lloyd Crosby from PKBM Homeschooling HSPG. Congratulations. Congratulations for Nathaniel. Now, for the third place. Oh, who is it gonna be? For the third place for pomatography goes to Cintantia Sinaraswari from SMA Tumbuh Yogyakarta. Let's give applause. Now, for the second place. Ah, this is a very familiar name, Pierre, yes. yeah? I think we have seen him already. <laughs> yes. Are you ready? <laughs> it's the second place goes to Rifan Siapwaga from SM Abogri 2 Yogyakarta. Congratulations. Woo! Congratulations, Rifan. Now. Pomatography contestants, are you ready to hear the first place? Are you ready, Pierre? Yes, I'm ready. Who is it? Okay, who is it gonna be? The first place for Pomatography contest goes to... Are you waiting? <laughs> the first place goes to Made Savitri from SMA Atisa di Bamkara. Woo! Congratulations! Congratulations! 
Okay, okay. we've announced the winner of story reading and photography. Okay, and the last one for speed. The winner for the most favorite video is Christophorus Pramananda Setiawan from SMA Pokri Satu Yogyakarta. Congratulations! Christopher, give us a thumbs up, Pierre. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congratulations. I think he already expects that. Right. Oh, I think he knows. <laughs> that's why, he's, that's why he gives thumbs right. up. Yeah, I know I will. <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> no, of course not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. The third place is going, going to be Vanessa Andini from SMA Tua. Krasik! <laughs> Congratulations, Vanessa! Wow, she didn't expect that. Did you see her face? Pierre, she's so in trouble. I see, I see. Oh my God, I'm glad you have Vanessa. Yeah. Congratulations, Congratulations. Vanessa! Okay, the second place will be Vanessa Citara Usalim from Sampurna Academy Medan. Congratulations! Congratulations! Vanessa. Okay, the last winner. Ooh, the funny. first winner for Spitz Contest. Right, and the last winner of our today's yes, agenda. Yes, exactly. The first place for Spitz Contest is Going to be Davina Edita Ari from Sampurna Academy Medan. Congratulations! Davina, wow, Davina is such a champion. Congratulations for all the winners for the first, second, third, and the most favorite video. Uh, for, uh, the for the prize, prize will be from, will be from Calculus, Calculus Education, Education Center, are waiting, are waiting for you to study with them. Calculus, Calculus Education, Education Center, Center prepare, prepare exams, exams, get international, international certificate, certificate, just one-stop one studying, studying solution for you. For you. Okay, friends, let's, let's give it up one know. more time to all today's winners! Woo! Right. For those who haven't won yet, don't worry. Because uh, as our judges said earlier, everyone's a winner, right? Yes, everyone yeah. is so, a winner. don't worry, because Kipin got your back. For the winners of the most favorite video and all the participants, there will be vouchers for learning with Kipin waiting for you. Kipin School. Smart, Smart school illusion for your, your school. school. Guys, Guys, don't be sad. This is this not the end of our gathering. Right. Because, because you know, Kahayu? What, Pierre? Tuta Wachana English competition will be back next year. Woo! So, friends, if you can't wait to. If you can't wait to meet us again in Dutawa China English Competition next year, if you miss the atmosphere today, you can go to PBI Ukadewe. Our door is always open for you. It's open for everyone. Yes. All right. Before closing today's event, let's hear the closing remarks from our five student, four students of fair, alumni, and corporation of Faculty of Education and Humanities. Ibu Anesti Futi Ermerawati, SPT M Home. To Ibu Ermerawati, the stage is yours. My heart is still pounding listening to the announcement of the winners, right? And I can feel the vibes, the happy vibes that the participants uh, show in the Zoom videos, right? Once again, congratulations. Well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Rahayu, Salam Kebajikan. Bapak Ibu Guru Pendamping, 
and also my dear judges and my beloved participants. Well, thank you very much for this year. Right, this is our second Buta Wacana English competition, which is held online. And uh, we are very happy to see your uh, enthusiasm in joining our second online competition. I think all participants have shown the hard work and also the spirit yeah, to make the um, competition happen. From those three um, competitions, I can see that this year, everyone has, you know, has used the opportunity, the creativity, and also the technology better. And I'm so happy for that. On behalf of Universitas Kristen Dutawacana and also the Faculty of Education and Humanities, I'm here to say our gratitude and thank for this year. And for sure, as the MC has told you, that uh, we are seeing you again next year, right? Of course, with a better condition. Hopefully next year we will not wear masks anymore. Yeah? We can see directly um, on site. Yeah, let's see what will happen next year. Yeah, hopefully everything is uh, better, right? And uh, I would like also to say our gratitude to the sponsors that have been here uh, with us from uh, year to year, right? Uh, the Honorable uh, Governor of Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta and uh, the Major of Kota Yogyakarta, uh, Calculus Education Center, and Keep in School. Thank you for supporting us. Yes, I think uh, that is all what I can say. So dear participants, uh, don't go anywhere. I'll see you next year. I cannot wait to see your better work. Thank you. Back to you, MCs. OK. Thank you, Ibumera, for the wonderful closing speech. Yeah, we're also hoping that Duta Wacana English competition can be held on site, right? Right, without mask, yeah. 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 And as Ibu Mera has said that Duta Wacana English competition gives you an opportunity. So keep developing your skill, keep striving for the best. Right, well, what a wonderful word speaker. Yeah. Okay, now friends. Teachers, students, we started the event today with a prayer. Now that we are at the end of the event, we're going to close it also with a prayer. We would like to invite Christina to lead us for the closing prayer. Allow me to lead the prayer in Christian. Please support us according to your respective beliefs. Almighty God, we started this meeting with you, and we are closing it with you. Thank you for making this event a success. We would not have done it without you because many are our plans, but it is you who is the best them. May the things we have learned today stir our hearts, and may we put them into action. May what we have learned impact our lives, families, friends, and the rest of the world positively. In Jesus' name, we believe and pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Kak Christina, for leading uh, the closing prayer. Well, Pierre, France, we have come to the end of today's event, right? Right. But before that, let's take group pictures first. So, open your camera, brush your hair, fix your clothes, do some touch-up first, and then open your camera. Yeah. Come on, everyone. Come on, open Come up your camera. camera. Come on. It's open up. To be the end of our session today. Wow. Well, thank you for all those who have opened their camera. We're going to wait for a bit. We're going to wait.
those who haven't opened their camera yet. Yeah. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay. Operator, are you ready? Ready? ready. Okay. The first page. On country. Three, two, one. Cheers. Okay. The second page. One, two, and three. Okay. Okay. Thank you everyone for participating in the group pictures. So, thank you to Vice Governor Kanjeng Gusti Pangeran Adipati Aryo ke-10, the representative of Kantor Gubernur Daerah Istimewa Yogyakarta, our rector Bapak Insinyur Henry Feriati MSc PhD. Ibu Anesti Puti Ermerawati SPT MHUM, Bapak Andreas Pinardi MA, Bapak Adewira Sanjaya SPT, Ibu Apri Mulyani SSMA. Thank you too to Bapak Ignatius Tri Endarto MA, Ibu Adaningar Septi Subekti MSc, and Bapak Januar Adam Prasetya. Also to Ibu Sukasi Ratna Widayanti SSM Home, Ibu Arita Susietina SSMA, and Ibu Dr. Francisca Endang Lestari Ningsi SPT M Home. Right. We would like to extend our gratitude to Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana staffs, ELED lecturers and staffs who have helped us today to prepare this event. Kakak-kakak committee that make this event happen, and of course, we thank you all the participants and teachers who have joined this event. Without you, this event would not be able to be held. Okay, but for the winners today, don't leave the Zoom meeting just yet. We would like to invite all the winners today to join the breakout room that has been opened for you. There will, there will be, be some, some announcement, announcement from, from the committee. The committee. So, so, see you. Okay, okay friends, friends, thank you, thank you for joining us today. today. Goodbye, Goodbye, so long, and see you in Duta Wacana English Competition 2023. Take care, stay healthy, and be happy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for your participation. This is Dutawacana Christian University. As the name suggests, Dutawacana means an ambassador of God's Word. The university is called to serve the world by delivering academicians, teachers, or practitioners of English education with professionalism, global perspectives, and characters of true educators. The English Education Department was founded to answer that call. Having a global perspective and a local act. In this 21st century, English has become increasingly crucial for communication and competition. Due to the implementation of the Asian Economic Community in 2015, Indonesia has to respond to the demand for global.